Hello, hello everybody. We are continuing our Assassin's Creed Brotherhood adventures. And we're going to try and finish things up tonight, if at all possible. So, the initial plan will be to do this here Romulus Lair. Or Lair of Romulus, whatever. And then we'll see if we can do this viewpoint, hopefully by, I don't know, going across the thing. Because I think that's the broken one. Like a, a broken aqueduct. And it's weird. And then we can also try and fix up everything. Because that, yeah, that aqueduct should be able to be fixed. And then we'll come up here. Assassination contract. The other layer of Romulus. And if that finishes all the Romulus stuff, then we'll get the Romulus treasure. Then from there, we'll probably do the courtesan assignment. And then these... Uh, Abstergo Templar agents to the main mission and yeah just try to whittle away at the things that need to be done to finish the game and then I will try to like uh, get a good like flow on games that I want to play we'll take a break from Assassin's Creed once this is done and go on to probably, like, a uh, interchange between two games. Like, Ghost of Tsushima I want to play, so we might start doing that alongside... Like, trying to finish Digimon Cyber Sleuth and then Tunic. I won't immediately jump into Cyber Sleuth's sister game, uh, Hacker's Memory, because... Well, I just, I just got, <laughs> I would already have finished that. Because both of those are, like, basically done. They're very near done. Do not lose more than a block of health. Oh, boy. Raid the Pope's old residence to find the Shrine of Romulus. Hilarious. But luckily, I am, like, Mostly just sick and tired of this game's shenanigans, so I won't really care all that much about, like, uh, the 75% uh, synchronization as I once was. It's still annoying, but... Not gonna get, like, super torn up about it. Mainly because this game has just... Maybe went from, I want to actually do the things to, well, maybe I actually don't care anymore. So let's try and not lose more than a block of health. Of course, that means that it's probably going to be an evil sister game to that evil monstrosity of lol. The auto-pathing for the free-running decided to die. Which was very annoying. Also, if this is the Pope's old residence, why is it in so much disrepair? Why is there a flag in here? Luckily, you can replay memories. So, it's not missable, but still. An odd choice, to say the least. Lol. Now I have a way back, up, if... get back up. Here. My question is, if it was that easy for that to fall, why didn't I just get up on that and bring it down and climb it? If it acts as a way back up, but also was that easy to fall? <laughs> Noisy chandeliers. But yeah, I just have had... Well, that's mean. Is that another I, I'm way back up a phone? But we already had a... Way back up with the painting. 
And that's not even... Well, I guess because, uh... Don't lose a... Health block, maybe. I don't know. I've already... Uh, and basically said that the overall design of the game is kind of wonky to me at times. Not terrible, for the most part, but... A lot of the design in this game bothers me. Like, as I was ruminating, or that is the word, right? Or so, about my thoughts on the game, I think I've come to the conclusion that the story of this game is kind of superfluous. Because... Really, what is this story? What has the story been so far? Oh, yeah, that's weird. And I guess it's like, ah, if you get down, no, don't take damage. But that still feels odd. Yeah, but the the story for Ezio just feels like uh, kind of pointless because. In a way, it almost, like, devalues the ending of Assassin's Creed 2, but at least it's not like Roger... Why didn't it auto-do? Usually it auto-do. Game, that is very dumb. Because at least it's not Rodrigo himself that came and raided the villa and killed Uncle Mario. So one could say that Cesare would have done it either way, but... Still, the fact that it, it, it just feels a little off. But then the game so far has mostly been just odd little things like I don't trust Machiavelli and like getting support and stuff. And then so far all the assassination targets have just been like, in fact, have we only had one real story relevant assassination target? Because I think we've only had one story-relevant assassination target. In the form of uh, the Borgia banker guy. And he just didn't have much personality to me. Oh no, gross opulent man. Uh-huh. But yeah, like, we aren't really introduced to any of these characters. We aren't really given much of a reason as to really uh, to kill them except as stepping stones for others. And while not all of the targets in Assassin's Creed 2... Uh, I'm going to assume. Yeah, uh, a little odd that it didn't want to auto-jump to that, but okay. But not all of, like, Assassin's Creed 2's targets were cream of the crop, but... It just feels like all of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood's targets have been, like, the later parts. Like, later parts of Assassin's Creed 2's, its targets, where they were kind of also a little bit random, but at least their cutscene introductions, there was a bit more to them. Even with Jacopo de Pazzi's group of conspirators it felt like they were like i don't know given a bit more even if ever so slightly they were uh kind of a speed run of murder i don't know it just feels odd assassin's creed brotherhood feels odd overall it's barricaded. I can't get in. I'll need to find another way through. Gun! Interesting way of doing things. 
But yeah, just like, so far the one target we've had in this game has just felt kind of minuscule compared to other targets in Assassin's Creed. Not to mention the repeated risk we as squat in Pache, even though a lot of the characters we do that to are just random. Oh yeah, we also killed the French general guy. Just goes to show, like, again, I remember Jacopo de Pazzi. I remember the guy shouting scripture off the top of the tower. But, uh, Assassin, also, why did the game take away my double, uh, my double blade? Interesting. Funny that it gave me, but it's like, no, you have to use the gun. Also, why would that be holding up the chandelier? But, and all the assassination targets feel like they've slowly become, like, less and less relevant as time has gone on. It just feels like... Ever since the, like, Assassin's Creed 1's targets just felt a bit more... More. Probably because you spent more time going after them. You actually stalked them, got to know them. And their confessions were, like, actual confessions. You spent time with them. Debated with them in their final moments. They just felt more grand. Honestly, depending on how Assassin's Creed Brotherhood ends, I would almost say that it is completely skippable as an, like, installment of the game. Uh, well, this, I don't know what the game wants here. Guess the game doesn't want that. Do this game want this? No. Because, like, it feels like game wants me to come up here. But then game doesn't want me to... Oh, it wanted me to go this way. My bad. My mistake. But, yeah. In the end, it'll just really come down to how this game ends ends that will decide its fate because all of the like secondary extra systems have really brought my enjoyment down with the game and just the way that certain things have been handled just eh, it feels kind of skippable oh I was going to get angry if the game sent me into super free fall and said you take damage. Did they put a fire there to try and get me to hurt myself? And then we use the cross <laughs> to get treasure. Ha! <laughs> That's a good one-liner for this situation. Why is there just a cart of hay in this dilapidated church? That just feels weird. Alright. And now we gather up the treasure. The treasure for the treasure. The treasure for the me. I think this might have been my favorite layer of Romulus so far. <laughs> Return to Rome. As if this entire thing wasn't Rome. 
And now for the game to throw a random Wolf Romulus cult guy at me to blindside me. So I take damage and lose the 100% <laughs> bonus objective. That's just... <laughs> that just feels like it would be in keeping with the game's jerk tone. Oh, the... <laughs> Every time, it's like, oh, is that it? Nope, there's one more treasure chest. Over and over and over again. Part of me wonders if that was meant to be the one I did last. Yeah. I guess to quickly recap my fractured thoughts, I'm gonna try and beat this game here. Then I'll try to form a alternating stream schedule of like Ghost of Tsushima, then like Tunic, and then I'll alternate them until I beat Tunic. Hopefully. Find all the little like manual pages, find all of the like fairies. Alright, well, go over here, do all that. Assassination contract, Lair of Romulus. But yeah. And then after we beat Tunic, hopefully relatively quickly in a stream or two, then we'll go and finish Digimon Cyber Sleuth, then take a break and not immediately dive into Hacker's Memory because... I think uh, I think it would just be weird. At the same time, my fault for not going back to Cyber Sleuth after I beat Digimon Survive. My bad. All things considered, yeah, I already fixed that one up. Why are they basically the same on the minimap? Turn that down. Yeah, and then eventually we'll go back and do Hacker's Memory sometime at some point. I don't get why fixing the aqueducts are so cheap. And I do find it annoying still that the game, like, had us come through here multiple times. And only now are we capable and now we have to run all the way to, like, the Claudia Aqueducto far, far, far back to even begin running on the aqueduct to get to the synchronization point. And again, the game had us come by that viewpoint at least two times with no way to do it, which is just feels mean. Only one other synchronization point was like that. And it was an Assassin's Creed 2 in Venice, I believe, that had the Templar Lair. The Templar Lair, where for whatever reason, you had to have the leap grab climbing technique before you could do it. And it was like the only building that you needed it for. And I don't know why. Just feels very weird. So if I give away a billion dollars, I'll get a billion dollars? This was gonna be an annoying run to the synchronization point. Why couldn't I synchronize from any point on this aqueduct? Ba 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 thoughts, thoughts, things to say. I was lightheaded yesterday, and I don't know why. Brain, probably. The evils of the brain. My brain. And now the... Oh, is that it? Is... The aqueducts... Only appear as... Ah, yes... When you are at the same point as... Oh no, they did add a... 
ladder here. Per yeah, there was no ladder on that building before. That's very dumb. Maybe I missed it, but I could swear. That did not exi exist before. But hey, synchronization point. And only one synchronization point left. Alright, now we're going to buy up these two diddly Ds. Game Y! Ah, uh, yeah. That is some of the dumbest shit. Why? Why does the game continue to do stuff like that? Why is that even something to do? Can I just get out of here, game? Will you stop being an asshole? How do I even get the fuck out of here? Just why? Why is this a thing? Why? Why is this a place? Why didn't the game just auto-jump to the goddamn place you're supposed to go to? God fucking damn it. Other bullshit. Game, it makes no sense to have synchronization points that are basically standardized at this point. And then you go and, uh, well, you're on the synchronization point. You're holding forward to jump away. We're going to uh, not do that. That is dumb. That is very dumb. It makes no sense whatsoever. To not have the synchronization point jump be essentially, oh yeah, that all, that always, always go to that one. It literally makes no sense. Just very, very dumb. But now that we're set that for there after we... Do the doctor and the blacksmith. Forget, how many blacksmiths are left? Will this be the last one? I think we got, like, all the doctors, so who knows. I'll have to get... Zamani. Quattrini? What's a quattrini? Just make sure there's anything new. Eh, you might as well not bother. You're an elitist, you must die. Oh no, we didn't go. Ah uh, yes, I'm going to go renovate the doctor. Meanwhile saying, ah uh, yes, I think we've renovated all the doctors. And I'm not sure if I got through saying it, but the reason that the aqueducts are grayed out when you're standing next to them is because uh, they're, you're technically not on the same level as the aqueduct. You need to be standing on the aqueduct to actually be like on the same level as it, which is a little silly. But at least I already got all the aqueducts done, so when I walk by one and my brain goes, gasp and horror, a grayed out aqueduct, my higher brain can go, but no, we already got them all done, silly brain. Silly lower brain. It is already finished. No need to fear. Then I guess we can also, while we're here, see if there are any item runs we can send our assassins out on. Wait, brain. Brain trying going. Brain is trying to go too fast, meaning that we lose time. And now, we have technically all, let's see, and 
Then if we sent him, it would finish up goodly. Because, let's see... Go ahead and try and get you leveled up. Let's find one that... Level up the baby assassin. There we go. I'll be low on assassins to send out. But oh well. Such is life. Just move my monitor a little bit to reduce glare. But yeah, we'll do this assassination contract. Then we'll go do that final lair of Romulus. Then we'll do the Templar agents. And then courtesan assignment. Ezio, the boards are growing certain as your attacks continue. The Pope's spies move throughout the city. Well, I mean, it is Rome. So what do I need to do? Oh, it's just come by here to unlock new assassination contracts. That feels a bit cheap. Ever so slightly. So now there's just more secondary things around the city to do. So there's, aka, a, a two things to do about the city. Maybe three. It could be hidden somewhere and I'm blind. And again, Leonardo's just moving about, even though I don't think he has anything to offer me. So, with that out of the way, literally out of the way, we will do Romulus Lair. Should be the final one. We go get the Treasure of Romulus, Abstergo Agents. Then we'll go do the Assassination Contracts, Cortis on Assignment. Personally, think that there should have been a different icon for activating the diddly -dees. I don't understand the fall damage in this game. Sometimes it feels like stuff like that should damage me, but it doesn't. And other times it feels like falls shouldn't damage me, but they do. Game is mean sometimes. Oh, do I have to go deep underground? Where is the underground entrance? Is there an underground entrance? It does say go down. I am confuzzled, but there is treasure. Claw dog ring. What is a claw dog? Oh, down here, down here. Should have been obvious. And this will be the final one. Piper Negram. Negrum? No idea what that is. But before we go in, let's check my total. 59.4, so I need about 15 more percent before we unlock the final bonus, Repressed Memory. What will the bonus objective be here? I will honestly be a little nettled if it is lol, time, time trial, because then that would mean half of them are time trials, which is just lazy. Do not lose more than 10 health squares! That's... generous. I guess there's gonna be lots of combat. We have recruited many new men to our cause. I merely speak the name Romulus and they obey. Better. Our prophecies move them, as predicted. <laughs> our prophecies. Together, we will create a new religious heart. Assassino! So I'm going to have to chase after him.
Okay, I was gonna get a little angry. Okay, the game screwed up pathing there. I could have killed him. Game. I hate that the game, like, locks you into changing weapons sometimes. So you can't even counter. We must kill the assassin. Romulus commands it. <laughs> I like how he kind of smiles. <laughs> Lol, he is immediately dead. Okay, I've lost one health square. And those guys just... Oh, okay, they came back. Spill his blood. I... I don't think that was good for your hands to... slip and dive like that. I think I need to, like... Ah, he stopped, so... And besides, there's a treasure chest here. Jar of leeches. So sometimes they do <laughs> have items, but the items are garbage. I have no idea what you were saying. Your followers need to learn how to swim if they live by water. Because they throw knives. And that hurts my health squares. Literally not, because I outran your knives. Wait for me! Wait for me! Save yourself. Why do they always do this? They throw their followers at me. And Ezio just swaggers in. What? Game! <laughs> I was gonna sta super stab him, super shoot him! I hate when the game ruins my stabbings. I wonder, do you guys give any loot if I... Nope. They do give uh, throwing knives though. But I take it back, this is kind of a... Nice final dungeon for the Romulus. Okay, that's kind of mean. Ever so slightly mean, I say. But yeah, kind of dismantling the quote-unquote leadership of the Romulus cult. Amuses me. Why are they just standing around a Borgia flag? Kind of odd that Ezio can't climb through that, but whatever. Get down now. Why get down now? Be gone and die in droves. Yeah, they were just huddled around this flag for some reason. And you were just standing here. Why? Um, yeah, go through the opening. Reduce distance. Game. You literally made it so uh, it was hard to do that. Why aren't you getting close to the target we were making it so you fall behind of? Um. Game, please.
What game? I hate that the game does stuff like that. Like, obviously... Well, that's extra annoying. Oh, you lose balance. Why? Why do I lose balance? I do like the combo kill system. I think that is one of the few unequivocal super good things that they added to this game. So, where are your hordes of men? Really? Where did- how many wolves did you have to kill to get these hoods? Seriously. Oh, come on. Okay, that's extra dumb that they just have a bunch of... diddly dees Right off the bat. Like, thrower of knives. That just seems like... mean design for a... horde mode. And they did it again. They opened up by throwing knives at me. I guess it makes sense, but gameplay-wise, that's just mean. I tried to do my kill combo towards the guy. But he hit me anyway. Are you going to come down and fight me? How so? Oh, he's, he's actually gonna fight me. Uh, would have been funny if he fell into the water. Uh, he jumped down, the wood breaks. It won't let me use the gun on him. I guess he has a specialized death animation. Never mind. It just wouldn't let me use my gun on him. How very rude. Uh, I, ju I just walk? No, I have to get up on top, I guess. I guess I have to do more parkour. Which I guess makes sense why these are here, then. Yeah, these final few Romulus layers were pretty good. I think there was a bit of overuse of diddly d throwing knives, but hey, whatever. And at least it, like, uh, wasn't a complete and utter rehash of the. Altair armor gathering. Does make it a bit weird that the uh, Romulus guys didn't get together to claim the armor treasure for themselves. But who knows what the crazy cult people, like how they go about things. And remember to stay hydrated. While you... Wait. No, five of six. There's one left. I'm a dumb. For some reason, it felt like there was, like, a... I already did more. I guess there'll be one more Romulus Lair in the final area of Rome that we haven't had access to. Uh, and I was here looking forward to uh, claiming that. Oh, well. And again, both of those last two that I did felt like they would be good ends to the Romulus layers. Ah, new memory of Christina available. Which is a tad odd because it felt like her... Like, Minnie's story was wrapped up in the last one.
hmm, this actually has a good flow. There, there. Cortisone assignments, just unlock them and then they'll be somewhere else. Christina memory. Templar agents. I do think I enjoy the assassination assignments in this game more than in Assassin's Creed 2. Because in Assassin's Creed 2, it just felt like there was way too many of them nearly at random. That, like, they didn't feel like really all that tangible. Granted, at the same time, a lot of the missions in this game kind of feel like extra assassination assignments anyway, so who knows. We climb up to get... How dare you talk to me like that. Besides, why- there's a ladder there. Why are you like, get down, when there's literally a ladder for people to come up here? Maybe not here specifically, but if there's a ladder and you don't want people to go up the ladder, why do you have a goddamn ladder? That's my question. We're gonna have a ladder. And they'd get angry when people use the ladder. Okay? You can do this one alone, so go do it alone and get all that experience. Oh yeah, and I forgot we were also here for our own assassination mission. Our enemy is feeling pressures as we close in. Important messages are now delivered by armored mercenaries. This tactic will not slow us. Ensure the messages die with their couriers. Kill both targets in under 60 seconds. Okay, they're right next to each other. Like, at that point, why not make that, like be the mission. There are two targets. Kill them in under 60 seconds. Why even have bonus objectives to them anyway? Wait, I know. A weekly bleeding is good for the body, apparently, according to... What the fuck? Uh... Okay. Sure, Ezio, do that swan dive. You do a swan dive, okay. Sure. But technically, I didn't really destroy the messages with their couriers. I just killed the couriers, and nobody decided to pick up the messages uh, uh, off their dead bodies. Then again, it probably would have been mean if they were like, kill both of them and loot their bodies. Or they could have given me a flamethrower, and then I could have used that to kill them. And that would definitely have destroyed the messages and the couriers. I mean, they already have a freaking gun. Why not invent the flamethrower centuries early? Out of the way. Out of the way. I can't hear you. I'm too busy flying to my pigeon coop. Now I had a weird thought. What if one of the Assassin's Creed games had Mothman as a side plot? 
It would be stupid, but I'd almost respect it. The Borgia have unleashed their interrogators. If they cannot find us, they will brutalize the people of Roma until they get answers. Strike of precision, or you may be overwhelmed. Do not let your targets call for reinforcements. I need to kill six of them. I wonder if I could use, since it's not time limit, I could potentially use the poison. Unless they are mean and they're like, ah, they recognize the tactics of the assassin and... They could do that if they're assholes. I mean, they kind of did it in Assassin's Creed 2 where they're like, what's that? You use the, the, the thieves to try and draw away the guard? You fool. Uh. Go up. I wanna... I, there we go. Don't let them. Call for help. They won't be able to when they all go insane. Luckily, these guards have gone back to... I... The, uh, the different, like, uh, camera locking swapping is odd sometimes. I'd like to go to the other guy. There we go. And now they're all gonna die. Also, that is some fast-acting poison. I also find it funny that they're all big brute types. So it's the same animation for all of them. They do a nice ballet. And then they die. It's kind of hilarious. If only there was like contextual animations where they stumble into the fountain and drown themselves. But that'd probably take programming. But which, like, that's probably, like, programming and animation work placed better elsewhere. Well, I mean, we're closer to the courtesan assignment in Christina, so we'll activate that, then Christina, and then the other assassination contract. Diddly D. In fact, what... DNA do we have? 62.37. So not super far away. Almost only 10% away from what we need. Again, it would be ever so slightly nice if the game told me the thresholds of DNA needed. But it was only, like, mildly mentioned once that doing the bonus objectives would unlock more memories. Wasn't really explained all that much. What things need done. The courtesans tell me only the loyal remain. They speak the truth. Then let us not delay. Ambassadors from the Spanish King and German Emperor have been discovered in Roma. Kill them. Seeking Cesare's support. Render them impotent, my son. Who knew that bringing a lady 100 feathers would make her so vicious? Oh, and they're just right here. I'll do this one because I think this one might bring us further up. Into the world. Ezio, you banished that spy Giulietta from the brothel, but she continues to give information to our enemy. A Spanish ambassador this time. Her lover. We know he sells secrets to the church. Giulietta fears you now. Use that. Send her right into the arms of her Spaniard and kill him. So basically, do the same thing again. Kill only the ambassador. 
And she's hanging out so close to the place. I would almost find it hilarious if she did parkour. I guess it does make sense. A guy is chasing after a woman. So the guard were doing the right thing there. For once. Somebody, stop him! Okay, that's a little mean, that gun. There are so many fucking guards. Also, when she slapped me at the right, uh, same time as the gun shot, I was like, man, this lady's got hands! And now I'm out of smoke bombs. Lol. But now I need to hide. Because the th game said only kill the ambassador. This probably won't work. Well, maybe they will. Maybe they won't have good pathing up to me. Then it also depends on how determined they are to get to me. And then they just forget that I existed. How so? Kind of funny that it's like, kill only the ambassador, but then immediately throws a trillion guards at you. Why don't you question anybody other than me? I feel profiled. Is climbing buildings illegal? That reminds me of a... Video that I saw of people doing parkour to turn off like a uh, light wasting Like lights that are just on in the middle of the night for like companies that aren't even open And they're using parkour to get to like light switches to turn them off Now that's a mini game I want in Assassin's Creed Unity Actually, this one might be good for getting you up, finishing your leveling up. Oh, and then I can then take my own mission. I keep forgetting, because there were so few assassination missions for me from these things that I hardly used it for it. Use the assassin recruits to assist in a diversion. Merchants under the Borgia protection often trade favors at the expense of their honest peers. Teach them that... Borgia protection is a myth. Kill the merchant while remaining undetected. So, send only my... So, I guess, send my dudes after him. Attack of the dudes. I want to send my assassins after him, but I can't.
Good, that worked. <laughs> I was slightly scared there for a moment. Not like it would have been a super serious thing, but still. Oh, Jesus, there's more up here. My bad, I thought that was it. Why are there so many side quests in this game? Also, why is it to highlight that? I wanted the thing. Why? I don't think anybody would highlight a doctor in this game that's right next to a mission. I really should use the assassin recruits more. Ezio, my loyalty to your family has left me in a precarious situation. Who do I need to kill? With his foreign ambassadors. He wishes to gain information that will lead him to you. I go to meet with one of these ambassadors. He will demand my help and I will provide none. He may try to respond with violence, which is why you will be watching. And then if he does, I can kill him. Ah, with the hidden blade? Sure thing. <laughs> Oddly not a... escort mission. Even though it directly involves her. A little interesting, but okay. Ezio really is like 50 in this game. So we must follow him. So it's not an escort mission, it is a stealth follow mission. If you are not a tree, get a move on. Get a move on, little man. Get a move on. I'll wait for him to basically get to the corner, because he'll probably, like, yep, <laughs> turn around, look directly at me. But he's totally not suspicious right now. When will one of these people, like, stop, turn around, go, uh, like, begin to go... Uh, continue on their way, only to immediately turn around again. I think that would be hilarious. A banker is dead. We have created a second Ezio. Don't mind me, I'm just sitting down. What, can a person not sit down on a bench? In Rome with you walking around, Mr. Ambassador? You think you're better than us? Watch, I'll sit on another bench that you'll probably turn around to look at me at. Nope. Very rude, horseman. It's kind of out of nowhere, but I really miss the god game genre. I think there might still be some that are ab out and about, but I primarily miss the type like Blindhead Studios Black and White. That just was a satisfying game to play, and difficult at times too. Doesn't help that it's also old now, so playing the first game, like, trying to get to the final level, crashes the game last time I tried, so... I might have to try again sometime, but... I don't know, maybe I'll Google search black and white crashes on final level, or something. I'm looking right at you from the crowd. Fear me. You don't even have a hat for your street performance, little man. Ezio! Are you 
Oh. Well, she called to me. I thought I'd... <laughs> Okie doke. The games really need to have a second... Like, objective thing. Do this. Because, again, when that happens, I just think, oh, go in now. Why would he be waiting for somebody to come and he not just kill her? I will threaten you, but not kill you unless I see somebody come to try and kill me. Again, it just feels weird. Maybe he knew that he was being followed, but it just feels odd. Grazie, Ezio. My faith in you is well placed. Yeah, it just feels odd when done that way. Surprise, secondary objective. Secondary, secondary objective. And again, why would you threaten a lady, but only kill her if somebody comes around the corner? Is that his fetish? Ezio, I will lead you to three ambassadors. They are here to meet with the Pope. I must kill them all. To God much sooner than they expect. <laughs> Allow me to lure them out before you start. Kill a target using the ledge grab. There's just so much background noise in this game. Why do NPCs have horses? They just get in the way. Then again, why do these guys exist when they just get in the way? They are internet whores. Look at me! Look at me! Acknowledge my existence! The bards in this game are people who say I, first. You asked if I had any friends you could play with. I have invited one. There. Where is she? Wait, right there. Follow. At least I fulfilled the objective, I assume. It seems that they don't count it until it's done done, which... ...slightly bothersome. Feels like it should get locked in when it's done, but oh well. This is probably the longer way of doing things, but eh, it doesn't alert the guards. He's slapping the horse, kill him! He's slapping the horse, kill him! That horse did nothing to him. Now he's trying to swim. What a lunatic. Personally, I think, like, when it comes to missions like this... Uh, Cortison, you can start walking now. Cortison, you can start walking now. Cortison. Cortison. Cortisan, you can start walking now. Cortisan, you can start walking now. <laughs> Might as well restart this m mission from a checkpoint because the game glitched again. Why? Why? Why is that a thing? 
Did it happen because I used the poison? Then why add a poison thrower? If it doesn't want me to use the poison thrower. That's dumb. Did they, did they not pay the QA testers enough so that all the QA testers quit? They were like, I am a QA tester of pride. I refuse to work for anything less than six dollars a day. Game, I wanted you to climb up the goddamn wall. Oh, there you are. Follow me. I have something to show you. And he's gonna get angry at me because the game's a dick. If he won't go, I will. I wanted to get kill that guy super fast, but the game's like, no, you can't lo you can't lock on to him. I can literally see him. No, you can't. That's why you can't lock on to him. Dipshit game. Why is the lock-on system so ass in the third game in the franchise? Fucking seriously. I'll just kind of get ahead. No, not gun, because bacon, they have ears. And now this time... You die. Because you are a dick. Oh, there you are. Follow me. I have something to show you. How am I supposed to talk? They're gonna be like, ah, you're the murderer. So why, why give them guards and, like, have the courtesan stay in a single place? Have her move away. The guards are really inconsistent with, like, dead bodies and stuff. Sometimes they're like, ah, I'm just gonna harass you. Other times they're like, blah. And now she's not even in the same place anymore. Adio, Ezio. Stay safe. It should have just ended there. I had no reason to talk to her. That just feels weird. At least it's not, like, super terrible. Because the desynchronizations just act as checkpoint restarts in this game. Which is the only way to restart from checkpoints in this game. Which, again, is like a video game sin. If it weren't, like, such a cliched, cringe thing to do, I might just do video game sins, but instead of being like, ah, the character ate an apple ding, it would be like, why is this designed this way, ding? This design decision is very stupid, ding. There's literally no reason to have to talk to this character just to have her say goodbye after doing the mission, ding. Why the hell is there no way to activate the checkpoints, ding? A ding for every time. Being able to use the checkpoints would have come in handy. Ding. Like actual sins of bad video game design. They don't care how many people I push over. Unless they're a guard, then they get angry. And that is how classism began. I wonder if this will be the last courtesan. Oh, interesting. Very rude. And it happened again, where my counter didn't kill. Why does this keep happening? I'll just have to keep doing that then. Why is that a glitch in this game? Why is that a thing? Oh, 
Like, seriously, I don't understand the... The animation partly plays, but then it stops when nothing stops it. Glitch. It just doesn't ex doesn't make any sense. And I forgot that I have the Papea Silva Katakum or whatever for that one map or something that I need to turn in at some point. Final mission, I think, for you. Again? Oh. We know who sells it. A street doctor named Tommaso. He has the antidote, but not for sale. You must find another way. Kill him. Hurry. Poison him with it. Time grows short. What if I poison him and then gets it? Do not kill the doctor. So I need to beat him up, is what you're saying. Again, why do horseback NPCs exist? They just exist to be assholes. Then again, that's basically this game in a nutshell. A kind of pointless sequel where things are just the way they are to be an asshole. You know, if I knew he was that far away, I would have tried to get my horse. Creepy Latin chanting in the background. I forgot that I took off my fists. Well, what is I supposed to do? Do not kill- what, do I- am I supposed to pickpocket him? And again, that's not killing him, that's knocking him out. Which, uh, kind of contradicts a previous 100% synchronization thing. Why is it when a NPC beats up, like, because in a previous courtesan mission, in a previous courtesan mission, the phrasing was, stop the man before he beats up the courtesan. Not lays hand on her, not kill her, beats her up. So when I beat up somebody, it's taken as a kill. When the game has someone beaten up, it's beaten up. This is inconsistent terminology, and that is bullshit. And yes, it might seem just a little bit silly to get annoyed at this, but... No game, I didn't run at the fucking wall. But, yeah, when the game says, Oh yeah, that's not killing, that's beating up. But then when I do it, it's killing. It's kind of bullshit, Benny. So I guess I have to pickpocket him. That's the only thing that makes sense. There we go. That's the, literally the only other thing that makes sense. Even though beating him up and looting his uh, still living corpse would have been faster. But no, when I beat someone up, it's murder. When an NPC who is very likely trying to kill a woman beats up the woman, it's merely beating her, beating her up. It's very stupid. Yes, this is stupid. Like, maybe it would have been better to just, like, run up and steal from him. Because I don't think I'm going to make it in time. Which is bullshit. Almost not going to make it. You'd think that 
even more? Or is this just going to be, you did everything, Ezio, you saved the city. 67.35, or 3-2. Ezio, this is Egidio Trocchi. We have met. I have gone from the banker's debt into yours, and I'm very thankful. <laughs> you know, I have not seen the inside of a tavern for months. The opportunity to change things here trumps a drink any day. The senator was just telling me of the inner workings of Cesare's court. Maria informed me that you eliminated the foreign ambassador, but you must stop any message of your act from reaching Cesare. The members of the court guilty of meeting with the ambassador should also be waylaid, if you know what I mean. Most importantly, the great agitator... Great Pastor agitator. Has been captured. If you free him, it will mean a great blow to the Borgia. It shall be done, my friend. So just how many missions is that? Three? Please just let it be three. Let's see. Uh, well, there's three over here. Well, Christina mission. Then... Hmm. Christina mission, we'll do the Templar agents, then those three, I guess. At least my guess was correct. And why does that keep popping up? Malpractice. Malpractice. I am not a doctor! Ezio walks up to a woman. Oh no! Repressed memories! I must chase the woman of my dreams. So I assume there's one more Christina memory after this. If the 75% thing is true. Venezia, in 1486. Hey, Leonardo! Ezio, I was hoping to see you tonight. I don't have much time. Doge's party starts very soon. Nevertheless, I have news. I hear Cristina Vespucci is in Venezia for Carnevale. Would the two of you close? Once. Perhaps it would have been better not to tell you. She's with her husband. She may not be too happy to see you. No. It's wonderful. It's Carnevale. <laughs> it's Carnevale. You not even know it's me. I know just the way. You're wearing the same stuff you did last time. Plant a note on Christina to lure her away from the festivities. Because, you know, just wearing a mask is all you need. Masquerade. Well, let's read this note. Christina, my darling, I, have, I must have you alone. Meet me in the alley. <laughs> Your husband! Ezio, seriously? Can't you just say... I find it funny that they actually have the Jubilee actor things pop up as well, even though this is just an optional memory. Ezio, why must you do this? <laughs> How do you not recognize it's Ezio? Christina. Christina, how do you not know? When did you get so romantic? And Ezio, this is kind of mean. Is she going to rip off the mask and go, Oh, you're Ezio. I knew it was you. Ezio, what the hell are you doing here? How dare you? Christina, it's all right. All right? I haven't seen you in eight years. See, si. I 
was afraid you wouldn't come if I just asked. You're right. I wouldn't have. Ezio, the last time I saw you, you kissed me in an alley and then left me behind to be married. It was the right thing to do. He loved you. Who cares what he wanted? I loved you! You had your second chance. Please, Ezio, don't ever find him again. I wonder how that how it's going to end in the final memory. Which again makes the like the function of the 100% synchronization just ever so slightly mean in its execution because this is an entire like story arc that we were kind of denied in Assassin's Creed 2. That's finally being resolved, and they're locking it behind the annoying subsystem. I don't like it. Me no like it at all. -y. It's a very mean system, if you ask me. Especially because that's just the way it works. The way the way it functions. It's like ah, thing, thing that you want but cannot have. Hiddly diddly. But yeah, I didn't think that would... <laughs> I knew from the outset that that was a bad idea, Ezio. So yeah, we'll hit that Templar Agent, hit that Templar Agent, then those three. And hope that more don't pop up. Well, actually... Where is a... Is that... Does, is there a fast travel point near? Not... Well, there are fast travel points that are near Rur. I'm gonna fast travel to it because there's not really any point not to. Game, I put a mark down. It's literally right there. Game. What the hell? Did somebody fuck up the mini- Because I think I might have an explanation for what just happened there. Maybe. But probably not, but... Maybe there's an invisible icon point? Because it was locking in on something there, just above the secret passage fast travel tunnel. So maybe somebody, when placing markers on the map, placed a an invisible marker? Again? Why do they get combos? Also, I was defending myself from robbers. They literally shouted, Rich Pickings, get him. Back to back, too. You'd think they would have gone, Oh, we've heard about the people who shout, Rich Pickings, get him. That gang is the worst gang ever. Let's see. Why can't I just, like, hover over the map? That's my question. Wouldn't that be faster to just have a ma version of the map function that you can, like, f flow over? With your m cursor to select it? Why does it have to be a name system like that? That just seems like an obtuse way of doing it. Why would you ever want to do it that way? It's dumb. We'll go to the pigeon coop on our way to do things. To send out any assassins still requiring leveling up. <coughs> so that we can hopefully just initiate all three assassins at the same time.
So we're like fully leveled up. You aren't. There. That gets all the needing to be dealt with characters out of the way. I don't care! Why does the frickin' location thing thing constantly pop up? Why am I gonna be pressing that button? Map! There is no reason. Nobody is going to be clicking like the fifth time they come across a building location or thing. They're not gonna be like, Ooh, I want to know more again. It's the fifth frickin' time that we've been by here. Which is more likely, that after being here for the fifth time, that I want to learn the benign history of this place, or that I want to access the map! Like, surely there is a different button that could have been mapped to. Like the pause button! Wouldn't that make more sense? Because in this game, you don't really select the pause button all that much. But at the same time, if you're going to be pressing the pause button, then it bringing up a different sub-menu wouldn't really affect the function of it being paused. Why isn't it just a pause? <laughs> that shouldn't be... Why not? Why is it not attached to the pause button? That makes a million more sense and is less likely to be frustrating. Because there isn't really that much that is going to be, like, useful to you when you're just out in the field and you're like, I'm gonna press the pause button. Why? Who do I need to kill, you young man? Please, don't call the guards. She would have wanted her burial here. Your wife? She was to be my wife. What happened? In the Cologne, she had a shop. The Borgia moved into the district and my wife refused to close. They found Monica with two thrown knives in her back. Kill your target of the hidden blade. You know the killer. I heard of a woman who takes contracts for Cesare, located near the antique bath. Leave before you are seen here. I do like these like mini stories. And if anything, these have like feel nicer to do than actual assassination contracts. Uh. We will find her and we shall kill her. I leap at him. He threatens me. Then he gets on his knees and begs for forgiveness. Now we need to find her. And then we need to kill her. Why are they after me? She's literally standing over the dead body. You are an assassin. Like a contract assassin, not an assassin assassin. And once again have to say... A little annoying. Little annoying for parkour over rooftops when it is kill with an assassin blade.
But at the same time, that is literally just the normal diddly D for the most part. Wait. Does that mean that we have access to this area? I thought it was going to be, like, still blocked off. Why do you care? Go away. Well, if... Where we can be here... I thought this place was gonna be still blocked off. That's why I didn't say it, but at the time I was like, wait, why is that fast travel point not unlocked yet? And there's no Borgia Towers to block anything, so hey! Again, hate that it takes control away from the player for so long. But let's see if we can do that... that point. I will buy this entire place. I will buy the entirety of everything. I will become the ultimate landlord. Yeah, if this place is opened up to me now, I'll go ahead and just finish off whatever's here to do. That isn't, like, story relevant. Because obviously we can't do all story relevant things out here in the wilderness of doom. Again, I just, I did not know that this was open yet. That just amuses me. I thought this place would still be blocked off. But hey, works for me if it's just opened up now. You know, I thought that I would get an achievement. Hmm, that doctor is already there. He does not need to be rescued. Does anybody need to be rescued? Nobody needs to be rescued. Interesting. And I question why this place was locked off at all. Like, story reasons. Like, yeah, obviously this place is going to have, like, story mission stuff going on in the not-so, like, far-off future. But I don't see why it needs to, like, uh, it needed to be locked off. There's literally only two things to do here that you can do early. Unless that treasure chest has super duper uber rare item in it. There's literally no reason for that section of Rome to be cut off. That's dumb. That is very dumb. It's like if a 10 foot square in the middle of Rome city proper was cut off. And he's like, no, you can't go there yet. Why? How were these men killed? They questioned Brother Ristoro's habits. And now here they are, poisoned. You question him as well. Why don't you fear his wrath? A man with nothing fears nothing. He has I nothing to lose. My vows. I put my fate in the hands of the divine. Deus Ascultat. Your vows keep you from acting. So you seek another to do what you will not. Please understand. I cannot kill. By air assassination. But I can. Where is Ristoro? He will be at the church. But guards always accompany him. The Borgia cannot protect him from me. Give! Don't Again, why is that just not tied to the pause button? That's like immensely less invasive. It is immensely less invasive if it was 
attached to the pause button. It serves the same thing. Okay, but I need to do it by air assassination, which is ever so slightly odd that it is different from other Templar agents. This is obviously where he's gonna be. Die. I'll kill the two rooftop guards because that way I can actually focus. What game? If it glitched there and did the thing like, oh, you didn't act, like you did the animation, but you landed on him weird, no, I would have hated that. That would have just been loathsome. Silly fool, God isn't doesn't exist. Let's see, is there a fast travel point nearby? There is. We'll take it up here somewhere. Probably to that. Dee 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 dee. At that point, I kind of wonder why that was the 100% objective anyway, considering that it really isn't that, like, people would have done that anyway. That is the type of thing is directly there. For a moment, I thought that was a dead body. I was like, why are you standing there over a dead body that I didn't provide? Want to go to this one, I believe. Don't know why there's three, like, right next to each other, but, like, none in that no man's land. It's very odd. Oh, we shall head out to do these missions. And again, they keep saying, Oh, the service ready. I know. Stop. All you are is annoying. We'll do these courtesan missions out here in the boonies. Ezio, news of our work has reached the Pope. As we speak, he prepares a courier for Romagna. If Cesare suspects his allegiances are slipping, he will fill the city with troops. Take the Pope's letter from the courier without his knowledge. Bring it to me, and I will prepare a forgery. We'll make sure Cesare receives his report. Complete this mission under 2 minutes 20 seconds. So I need to get there, get back. And I have to go down the mountainside, then back up the mountainside. That's ever so slightly mean. But yeah, it just feels like a bunch of this game is fluff and chaff. That could have stood to have been cut. Like the 100% diddly deep just doesn't feel like it needs to exist. Oh, but, but, how did you move? How'd you move? I thought we'd have to go back the same way. How'd you get in front of me? You could have taken the letter before I could have. If you're here already. Then I can work. Give me a moment.
Do I need to, like, plant it on him again? Yep. I guess it makes sense he got far, because she did have to forge an entire letter. But still... Probably not the best idea. Because we need to put it on him, but eh? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be getting the bonus objective for this. Doesn't feel like it. Horse, my oh, no, horse. That's mean. That's mean game. That is mean. The horse should just stop dead. Also extra mean that it pushed me all the far out here. But at least we can head all the way back. Yes, I know. This is like the fourth time you told me, game. Jesus Christ. What is with this game and constantly repeating the same inane bullshit? We know. We know, game. We comprendo. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Then we can send you. Sure. That gets a big thing off the way, so why not? I also feel like this game has too many, like, side quests for a game that's as repetitive as this. Like, I don't know. Again, chaff and fluff. Cesare has captured the great condottieri, Prospero and Fabrizio Colonna. He has brought them to Roma for torture. Once freed, these men will cause significant trouble for the Borgia and their allies. They will be transferred soon under guard. But I suspect that will not be a problem for So what's the bonus objective for this? Finish the mission with both mercenaries above half health. Sure. Let's -a go. Like, unless they're um, being tortured as we speak, I don't feel, don't really know why that would be the bonus objective. Then again, I'm predispositioned to take any bonus objective from this game to be uh, unnecessarily cruel or difficult. Or maybe this is a multi-part one, and I need to escort them somewhere after I save them. So we need to get into multiple fights. Ooh, arrow storm. That'll come in handy. Arrow storm. You have saved us, You are not free yet. Game? Game? Okay, that's mean that it just won't let me. Okay. I guess I should just come down and kill them the normal way. Yeah. 
Why do you have so much health? Game, I'm clicking the kick button. Kick his ass. Sending horse guys at me is just mean. Okay, that at least makes sense. <laughs> wacky ragdoll. Oh, wacky ragdoll. Oh, that, oh, that brings a smile to my face. Oh, that brings a smile to my face. Continue the fight against the Borgia. That we will. Adio, amico mio. Adio. So it was a survival thing as well. That arrow storm certainly helped out in the end. One more, and if we run by a blacksmith on the way there, all the better. But while... Before we do that, 71.28. We are definitely going to get to it, and after that, I'm just going to wholly ignore the bonus objectives. Because, fuck them. The bonus objectives are worthless to me. They are, li especially because it, it just feels weird that they lumped extra bonus memories... And cheat codes together. That just feels off. To me, it should have been like at 20, 30, 40, and 50% and so uh, total synchronization, you get, uh, you unlock these memories. And then, like, afterwards, it's cheat codes. Why is it cheat codes a lot and then? repressed memories about a lover. Does Ezio gang uh, reality warping powers before he's willing to confront Christina's memories? You have killed the ambassadors. Now those who plotted with them must be stopped. I can show you where, but I leave the rest to you. We must ride. In under 60 seconds, sure thing. Oh, horse already here. Borgia Nightmare. Oh, so she can run over guards, but I can't. I try to run over guards, they get angry with me. I do it multiple times in a row, they try to kill me. This is NPC privilege. Okay, don't know why we did the U-turn. <coughs> I have Aerostorm ready, so I wonder if I'll be able to use that against them to kill them all basically instantly. So that villa, huh? I assume. Or are... I don't know why that one guy ran out immediately, but whatever. Grazie, Ezio. I will return to the Rose in Fiore. The others will know of your bravery. For a moment there, I was kind of afraid that the game had soft locked again. That would have been mean. But that seems to be everything! 
So now all that's left is m normal memories and uh Have I just not come across the last layer of Romulus? Hmm. Let me go to database. Locations. Layers of Romulus. One, two, three, four, five, six. Does that mean that the treasure itself is the final one? It's on the way, so we might as well take a look. That does mean, like, going into, like, the underground section and, like, diddly-dee, but hey. It is a minor detour. Maybe it could be taken as literally being the final lair. So... We'll go check it out because we've been all over the map. There doesn't seem to be anything else. It is the last R Romulus icon on the map. So unless the game glitched, which is entirely possible, but it hasn't glitched that badly ever. Even if I initially thought the Leonardo not appearing thing was a glitch. No, that was just... The dumbest design decisions to ever appear. This side of the CDI. Because, again, no idea why we can't just sit on the same bench and talk to Leonardo. It has to be an exceedingly dumb experience. So, yeah, we will... Head deep underground. I keep, every time one of my assassin bars goes up again, my brain is just like, wait, what happened? <laughs> what is that supposed to be? A storage corner. I'm definitely going the wrong way. I think I found it relatively quickly. Like, the last time I was down here. And that was when I just thought that this was the wacky way to another Romulus lair. Oh, come on. We're just gonna be dumb to find thing I I hate. So yeah, this better be like the actual thing. This better be the actual like Romulus lair. There we go. Me was just dumb. Nope, recover all keys, but there are no keys left to acquire. Yes, it, it is five out of six, but the game isn't showing me where the last one is. So, I guess I'll quickly search Brotherhood Last Romulus Key. Maybe it only appears... Yeah, last Romulus lair. So let's see. Apparently it's in the... Apparently... It's all the way up here. It's in the Vatican District. Da, 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 da.
That's odd. So, yeah, it's in the Vatican District. One person says they got it after fixing all the aqueducts. And another person says after sequence 8. Alrighty then. Ever so slightly odd. They are normally location-based and not memory-based because, so far at least, all locations that have been locked by memories. But at the same time, maybe we can't actually go to the Vatican yet. That's always possible because I think that when we were doing the Leonardo DLC early... We went to the Vatican District, and the game was ever so slightly uh, wigging out, going, Wait, you're not supposed to be here. But because we were in the DLC, it let us be there, so... Bibbidi-B. I think that's why I was thrown off. At the same time, it's a little weird that it's not on the map. Or in any of the locations, because we were in the Vatican, but maybe I didn't get close enough to, like, reveal it. Mm, who knows? But at least that mystery is solved. And we know the answer. I really should just throw caution to the wind and just Google shit more. Because that would solve the majority of my issues. It's just I have the old-fashioned notion of the game itself should provide adequate information for the player nine times out of ten. Personally speaking, the game should clearly state things. But at the same time, in this case, it is a me fault. I am the one at fault because I played a post-game DLC during the, uh, the normal part of the game. Like, super early, too. I would question why that becomes available that early if it is a DLC memory. And it's like, it's not like it was immediately available. It only became available after a certain memory, but that was still super early. <laughs> Don't know why. I will take the money before it overflows. I'll go ahead to the blacksmith to stock up on smoke bombs and bullets and stuff. No, there's nothing there. No, nothing there. No. Ammunition. Smoke bombs. Yes. Fill by. Fill by. Ever so slightly odd that the quick way to cancel that, like, uh, icon or, like, a picture animation is to click the A button again or, like, the select button again and not B, the cancel button. Mm. Who knows? Oddities. That's hilarious. What is it? Someone warned Rodrigo to stay away from the castello. Machiavelli. He shrugs. No. We must not be split apart by mere suspicion. The Borgia. Know the locations of our spies. Who told them? Maestro Machiavelli asked about our search for Pietro earlier today. That's very odd, though. Ezio? Because here's the thing. Machiavelli was very upset at Ezio for not killing Rodrigo. But who knows, maybe Machiavelli became disillusioned with the... assassin plan... After that, and just like, fine, I'll throw my lot in with them. But still, it makes no sense for him to side with the Borgia and Rodrigo and stuff after getting that angry at Ezio for not killing Rodrigo. Like, seriously, that's part of the thing. <laughs> There's like, Ezio, this time you're gonna do this right. <laughs> you're gonna kill them. One of our first missions from him was him saying, Hey Ezio, I want you to go into the Castello, forsake our ally, and just kill the Rodrigo and uh, Cesare Borgia. Ezio, 
I just have bullets. So yeah, it just, it makes no sense for Machiavelli to, yeah, side with the Borgia. The real, the real question is, who else could be it? Yeah. Who else could be a traitor? Yeah. That's the real question. Because it can't be Machiavelli. He was just far too, how dare you not kill Rodrigo. He was the one to react the hardest to that. And again, one of our earliest missions was him saying, you go into the Castello and you kill Cesare and Rodrigo. Explicitly stating that saving uh, Katarina was a secondary thing, if at all. Also very annoyed that I can't gallop after him. Game was being weird for luck on. Beato is to be assassinated this evening. Cesare sent his butcher. Kind of funny that. Well, I guess it makes sense. They. Like, uh, were thrown, I guess. Till tonight. Come on. But yeah, it's just like, Machiavelli is too obvious a red herring. It can't be Bartolomeo, he's too simple. His wife can't be it, because she was held hostage by the Frenchie. Like, literally the only one left that could possibly be a traitor is, like, La Volpe himself. That's the one thing. The only one that's like sneaksy enough to be a traitor besides Machiavelli is La Volpe. What even was that voice? The man is an actor, and he is doing a play stuntarte. Just a random, odd voice. Perhaps... Perhaps Cesare just has a good... Like, spy network himself? What if he's using the Apple of Eden to get insight? Into matters that should be impossible. Uh, La Volpe? Why well, have the U-turn? Get out of the road! This is horse road! Road only for horses!
Nah, we still haven't found any dead bodies for a while. Where are the dead bodies, La Volpe? We get there, one of them's still alive. La Volpe is the traitor! Follow my lead. Choke slam. <laughs> La Volpe got pulled off his horse. What did you find out about Pietro? He is to be suspended from a cross. Micheletto will come for him with a spear. And we needed three separate contingents of thieves to figure all that out. You'd think he's going to be in a play, the assassin, the, the butcher is going to try and make the a play a reality. Why is the synchronization bird back? Where is Pietro? I cannot tell you. But Micheletto waits at the city gate east of the Terme di Traiano. He intends to disguise his men to make the killing look like an accident. He will lead me to Lucrezia's lover. Ezio, Machiavelli has betrayed us. We would both wish to deny I it, mean, but the truth is now clear. You didn't really wish Do to deny it from the beginning. Be done. If you don't, I will. Without Volpe's thieves, I may require the help of my recruits. Use your assassin recruits to assassinate your targets. Good thing I didn't send my assassin recruits out on missions before this. You will be involved if, when I'm done with you. Please, I have done nothing. Francesco Trochi, dear friend, would I lie to you? You told your brother about my war plans in Romagna, who contacted the ambassador of Venezia. It was an accident. I am still your servant and ally. Are you demanding that I discount your actions and rely on friendship? I am asking, not demanding. To unite Italia, I must have every Unite Italia, aka conquer. <laughs> and if the church does not fall in line, You know that I really work for you, not the Pope. Ah, but do I, Trochi? There's only one way I can know that unconditionally now. You intend to kill me? Your most loyal friend? I don't think this guy has friends. Are you letting me go? Thank you, Cesare. You will not regret... He's not killing him. He's a butcher is. Guards, give Micheletto the costumes for the play. Lucrezia is mine. No one else shall have her. Make doubly sure it is. Meanwhile, he is like I obey, oh, yeah. totally out there. Dumb Francesco's body in the this day. guy's out there banging whoever he wants, but his wife can't have a side piece. The only one that's allowed to have a side piece is him. So when I have targets, I need to have my assassins do the assassinations. Odd little ground glitches. But yeah, ba that back there, that's why you don't trust crazy people. The moment they show a sign of being crazy, you need to get out of there. At least when he's on a horse, he's less likely to do the turn around and look thing. <laughs> At the very least. Hey, hey! But 
But shouldn't I kill him now? So that he can't go to the play? Silence phone. God, this place is locked down. Don't mind me, I'm just walking away. Once you get dressed, you follow me to the play. Capito? Tieni. Very rude. Kind of funny that I need to use my assassin recruits. My horse body checked me. How rude. Creepy Latin chanting. It's probably not Latin, but it fits the aesthetic of Latin chanting that is ominous. Yeah. Words that you don't know what they're saying while they're Whoa. creepy and they're kind of a background chant. Ominous Latin chanting, it works. Do you want to learn how to speak Latin? Just say words that people can't understand creepily. Wait, does this mean that my assassins are going to play the role, like the roles that of the his guards wearing the costumes, and they're going to kill him instead of Pietro? If that's true, I will be a happy man. I don't think they're really Borgia slaves. They're more like Borgia conspirators. Slaves imply that they are doing it against their will. They are very, aware, very well aware of what they're doing. Oh. I didn't realize that he was so close. I thought he continued on. Carry on my wayward target. Soon your throat will be slit. Oh, this place is, uh... Once again, why does everybody else get to go into these places but not me? It makes no sense. Have you been drinking? Why are there so many tar like so many guys? The pull out thing. There are so many guards here. Why? Rudist isn't our target game. You have five and a half billion guards up here! Like, seriously. What do you want me to do? Once you get dressed, you 
follow me to the plane. Capi, this is for you. All right, that's cool. That's cool. That dual assassination, that was sweet. <laughs> you see nothing. The way that the assassin uh, recruits like, uh, come out of, uh, horse, you need to, because I don't want to get on you in the middle of a restricted area in the broad daylight of villainous guard eyes. But, yeah, the ways that the assassin recruits, I can't gang on him because you won't let me gallop. <laughs> in fact, I'm fairly certain that he gets to gallop, but I don't get to. And again, because I keep getting slightly interrupted, the way the game, like, just spawns in the recruits is just really neat. See, even he gets to run over guards, but I don't get to. And obviously this is the next place. die. Once you get dressed, you follow me to the play. They couldn't have this guy say three different lines. I'm sorry, but that was the dumbest thing. Game, you forced me to go that way. Immediately started. Everyone starts walking towards me. Oh, they got detected. Game? That's bad design. It does not have a natural flow to it or any indication that that is the wrong thing to do. That is just a very dumb game. It just feels like it's punishing the player for daring to do what the game wants you to do. Game, that's not what I wanted you to do. Go away. Especially because there's not really any place to hide. How can I act? There we go. Once you get dressed, you follow me to the play. Capito. Il tuo costume. And now do we tell him to the play play? He's not even getting on his horse this time. Which means he might do the look around bullshit. Man, will he be surprised when none of his people show up. Also, I just realized that a lot of what the game asks of you kind of disincentivizes using the diddly D. He acts on stage, signore. One of my men will take you to him. Don't forget, I wear the black shirt. Protect me and wait for pilot's call to the Centurion to strike. I must get to Pietro before he does. Yeah, basically, because there's so many bonus objectives that are like, ah, do this, ah, do that, it kind of gets in the way of just dilly -dee. Do not kill anyone other than the gunman. And then suddenly it is nighttime.
Once again, yes game, I already know. You keep on saying, Oh, it's ready! I know. You don't need to remind me 50 million times. So, do we, like, go in, or do we keep on shushane across? Looks like we keep on shushane across. They have a lot of guards here tonight. I guess it is a play, but still. Robert Downey Jr.'s playing Jesus tonight. We have to protect him. From here we shall shashe to where we need to be. I don't know why it always defaults to fists after it goes to like a loading screen. Just feels odd. I mean, yeah. I was half debating if I should try to get up, up but there's probably not much to really do. I shall not risk... This is slower, but probably safer. Ever so slightly safer. I just need to wonder if the mark is at the top. It's probably at the top. Yeah, it's right here. I climbed all the way to the top so that I can climb all the way back down. It really is an obstacle course. Yeah, I kind of get the implication game. You want me to go all the way around? Ah, oh, but you're actually... Nope, that's not even the gunman. Like, I don't even know anymore what it wants from me. It's way too my long. God, my God, why hast thou thus forsaken me? Is there any, even anybody here watching the prey? The middle one? Hark, hark how he crieth upon Elijah to deliver him. Wait, and we shall see whether Elijah dare Because, I mean, or not. obviously Pietro would my make himself Jesus. Great. My thirst is great. Yes, thou shalt drink no more. Okay, so there are people watching. Because I wish it would. Why does it have, hey, four people when there is like gunmen? Or gun man. I'm going to assume gun men. Let me see. Does it say gun men? Gun men, not gun man. Okie doke. But yeah, Pietro's totally gonna be playing Jesus because he's that level of narcissist. For a moment, I was partially scared because like, oh no, what about the other bonus mission thing of killing all of them with uh, my minions? But no, we're in a different mission. I'm going to assume these are my guys. Because they took all the costumes.
What deed have I done? A man I see, sooth to say, I have slain in this stead. Have mercy, Lord, I thee now pray, for I was not what I did. Jesus, much have I held the spake I don't even know how I'm supposed to get on stage then. Did I go the wrong way? That is poorly uh, planned out. They had a table blocking the other way. But I guess that's the correct way. We're supposed to go, the, or maybe we're supposed to go all the way around maybe? This just feels very dumb. Also, we can't even move all that fast. And there's a bloody time limit. Why is there a time limit? Do I need to kill these guys with my assassins or what? And now the play isn't playing anymore. Therefore a tomb is made for me, therein his body buried shall be, for he is... I don't know where I'm supposed to be, game. That's such terror. What the fuck is this mission? <laughs> like, why is there a time limit for the first part? Maybe like have, hey, don't stick around too long. Like, don't fuck about. But it's like, find your place without being aroused. It's like... But this isn't like that one mission. Where they're actively commenting. What the hell? Also, why wouldn't we begin there? It's like, this is just very dumb. I think he even said, use Eagle Vision for something. Let's actually see if we can read. What heart have you to slay this man that I hear see dead? Hanging that never yet... Use it to display information about your surroundings. There's... Ah. I... I thought we would actually, you know, be up on stage, but I guess this is technically stage. I personally think that's a dumb decision. That it's out here, not up there. Then I go to that one next. At least this one makes sense. You know, after I realize that this is part of the stage. And not up there where all the action is. die. Centurion is dead. He got his clothes back. <laughs> you cannot save Pietro. The wine he drank was poison. As I promised Cesare, I made doubly sure. Interesting. I am not yet dead. I did not come here to kill you. He who is the cause of someone else becoming powerful is the agent of his own destruction. I don't get that. And then everybody disappeared. Cut him down. This was not in rehearsal. Hold up the guards. Save Pietro from the poison coursing through his veins by carrying him out of the Colosseum to the nearest doctor. Do not swim. Do not swim? Is that a joke? I'm carrying a poisoned man. New memory of Christina available. That means we hit 75%.
die. He's been poisoned. That pal, Cantarella, drink this. Hurry! Give him a moment. All the doctors are so, like, <laughs> calm. I guess they have to be. I feel slightly better. Leeches will lead to a full recovery. I cannot thank you enough. I... The key to the Castel Sant'Angelo. Now. What are you talking about? I'm simply a poor actor. Cesare knows about you and Lucrezia. <laughs> That's the quickest turnaround. I love it. Stop! Wait for us! We thought you had been killed, Sir Ezio. Not yet. Where does this passage lead? To the north, outside the walls. Let me through. I must go help the troops. He's standing there ominously. You were at the Villa Auditore during the attack. Um, but he's very, very, uh, quick. Why is he so fast if I'm supposed to tackle him? I think the game is like... Come here! What's your story, young man? Why did you run? I... You are the traitor, not Machiavelli. Long live the Borgia! Oh, what the hell? I was right. I have to stop Lavorte That's not even a mystery at that point. Why the hell would like That makes no sense. Random thief guy. And not anybody of like actual importance. Come on, horse. Dumbass horse AI. Why is the horse worse than running? Oh, and I'm not supposed to swim. That's what this bullshit is about. Why are there so many assholes? So I guess a horse one really wouldn't have helped me. But yeah, how are you supposed to suspect that guy who, like, hardly existed in anything ever? You would think that it would be, like, La Volpe or someone. I have discovered the traitor. What? One of our men. He was at the villa attack. Here. He carried his letter. My god. This is good news. More than you know. <laughs> I am once again in your debt, Ezio. What debt is there amongst friends who trust one another? I love that Machiavelli didn't know anything about this. The message in time. Come, Nicolo. It has been far too long since we've talked. I heard the Colosseum Passion Play took an unexpected turn this evening. Really? It seems Jesu Cristo was <laughs> resurrected three days early. Okay. <laughs> that was a good joke. Okay, that was funny. <laughs> Jesus Christ was resurrected three days early. Oh, you motherfuckers. Thief assignment. And a Templar lair. Like, what even are Templar lairs? I know we did some, but... I think I'm gonna ignore the Templar lair, because I don't really care. I'll do the Christina mission... And then I'll go do the thief missions. And then... I will see, like, what about ba ba We'll send out anybody who continues needing leveling up. We will do the Christina mission. And then I guess we'll do the thief assignments. And I'm just going to ignore the Templar lair because that's just more random stuff that I don't care about. It's like, ooh, ooh, I don't care. Like, I don't even think that there's any 
like plot relevance to them in anything. Like, maybe there's something at the end, but I don't think so, and I don't really care. I kind of wanted to get this game over with. All it's going to be is a Romulus lair that doesn't contribute to the Romulus questline, so I don't give a shit. Alright, who's the one assassin that needs to be sent out on more missions? And then we can go and, like, super level you up into being a super assassin. We need to find probably this one. Because you need... Yeah, I think you'll live. And that won't even break my amount, my arrow storm amount of assassins. Why? What is with this game and just loving to put icons on top of icons? Clean up your mini map, or like, clean up your main map game. You could have put that Christina mission anywhere. You knew. But hey, this will be the final Christina mission, and then I can ignore the bonus objectives till the end of time. Because again, most of the time they're not even like, oh hey, this is just a little interesting side thing that you can do. Most of the time it is, how can we just be an asshole to our players? What can we kind of leverage them to do that's annoying? What kind of fail state should we put into this mission? I hate him. It's just like, again, most of the 100% diddly Ds are just random bullshit that bring down the game. Would be hilarious if this actually was Christina. But yeah, what will be the final Christina uh, memory? They met in Venice with, at the Carnevale. When will they have met the next time? What what will be the ultimate catalyst of causing these repressed memories besides a broken heart? Manfredo. Oh, in memory sequence 13. Seven are all us men. They came through destroying everything. Where is Cristina? Manfredo! Where is she? She ran. They went after her. Is she gonna die? Now that would be a tragedy. Okay, don't, not sure why the game didn't let me actually. Diddly. Somehow that actually... Walk on to the asshole. I hate that delay. Christina, hold on. I'll get you to a doctor. You're going to be all right. No, it's... I don't think I am. No! Don't go. Stay with me, Christina. It's you. Don't you know? I've always been with you. I wish we could have had a second chance. There should have been an Assassin's Creed 2. Maybe they didn't think of it. But this would have salvaged memory 13. Because I assume this is memory 13. In Assassin's Creed 2, timeline-wise. I assume that's the d timeline we're working with. I forget the specific years, but... People are being attacked, destroy- uh, Guys are running through, destroying. I can only assume that that is the crazy prophet guy who stole the... 
Apple of Eden before, uh, like in memory 12, which then led to memory 13 and chaos and Firenze. That would have saved memory 13 for me. That would have been like, yeah, a lot of annoying bullshit happened, but... Hey, at least I got, like, closure to this story arc. So, yeah, that's just... I don't even know why they're invisible bullshits. Alright. But yeah, that totally should have been an Assassin's Creed 2. Granted, you just know that they didn't care about Christina when they were making Assassin's Creed 2. Because... It was just... She was basically just a fling in that game. She is never mentioned once at any point anywhere else. And then comes this game. I guess they could, like, again, they're, they're probably like, Oh, well, the reason that it wasn't in Assassin's Creed 2 was because Ezio was repressing those memories and Desmond needed to become synchronized ever more with Ezio to access those memories. Like, I don't know. Personally, still feel that it would have had more impact if it was on, like, if it was in Assassin's Creed 2, it would have had far more impact and, again, would have salvaged Memory 13, because that had to have been Memory 13. Are we in a new memory? Oh, no, I can just buy these now. Now that I'm actually using the gun, because it's worthwhile to use the gun. You'll be well satisfied. I, know uh, I have half a mind to skip these as well, because we're probably very near the end, and it depends how many there are. If there are two, I will do them. Any more than two, it can fuck off. That's gambling. Okay, back here. The Barrel of Secrets. Gentle are angry. Ben. I expect retaliation. They will have no opportunity. We take the fight to them. Seek out my spies. They plan as we speak. Yeah, because I just again it just feels like there are way too many side quests in this game. Way too many. Oh, but we're open world! How many? Dear fucking lord, there's four of them at least! <laughs> Ooh, I don't... I don't think I care. I don't think I care to do them. But especially because the hundred eyes or whatever, they haven't done anything! Oh, I'm just, I, I had, uh, oh, and there's an assassination contract there for some reason. I'm just going to continue the story. I'm just going to continue the story. I can't bring myself to care. There's just been too much of this game. There's just been too much of this game. That is just my final thing. There's too much of this game, I'm just going to complete. Because I doubt anything spectacular will happen to it. Just like, just like how there wasn't really anything happening with the end of the courtesan missions. I'm just gonna <laughs> I give up main mission time. And it is almost time. Call the assassins together. And bring Claudia. Now? Yes. Yeah, I'm just... I'm tired of the side content in this game. <laughs> so Claudia gets to become a assassin now. 
to serve the light. We are assassins. Laurian, we here dedicate our lives to protecting the freedom of humanity. Mario, our father, and our brother once stood around this fire, fighting off the dark. Do we know that our brother stood there? Our father, definitely, but our brother? He didn't seem to be in on it. Especially not the younger one. Good endurance. You and I have not seen eye to eye on many issues. But you are exactly what the Order needed. You have led the charge against the Templars and rebuilt this Brotherhood. Now we must put Ezio where he belongs. In the ground. At the head of the Assassins. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. You will now be known as Il Mentore, the guardian of our Order and our secrets. Neat. I mean, I basically have been the master of all this. Blindly follow the truth. Remember, nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Where other men are limited by morality and law. Remember, everything is permitted. I wonder if anybody has died from that. They go through everything, become a full-fledged assassin. I have always stood by Did they just die on the leap? I was the one who brought you to Roma, and the one who caused the explosion as you fled the castello. The mercenari who protected you at Il Colosseo were mine as well. You just did not know it. Maestro Machiavelli, Cesare has returned to Roma alone. He rides for the Castel Sant'Angelo. Grazie. Well? The decision is yours, not mine. <laughs> You're the mentor now. Better not stop telling me what you think. Why else would I seek the opinion of my most trusted advisor? <laughs> Go kill them, Mentore. <laughs> Finish what you started. Good advice. I intend to write a book about you one day. If you do, make it short. I wonder if Machiavelli did write a book that, like, to wasn't, like, actually really based off of Ezio, but the developers could, like, cheekily be like, ho ho ho! This short book written by Machiavelli totally was this! But, yeah, I am sick and tired of the bonus content in this game because it breaks the flow, It ha the game has annoyed me, the glitch where I counter an enemy and they just go, haha, animation break. Keeps coming back. Like, I don't even think I'll do the last Romulus lair. I'm just kind of tired of the side content in this game. Because none of it feels like, ooh, content that I do to become stronger, to like, envelop myself in the world, like, maybe these. But again, the Hundred Eyes gang haven't fucking done anything. Uh, like, in Skyrim, I would totally, like, go around and do side quests because it's Skyrim. But with this game, like, maybe it's because I've played Assassin's Creed 1 and 2. I kind of feel that the Assassin's Creed games work better linearly with some side content and not... Tons of open world content. Like, seriously, if you buckled down and just played the main story, there would hardly be any game here. Uh, especially when most of these missions are pretty cut and paste aside from the main missions. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do the main mission. Actually, leave Animus, talk to people, check email, then we'll do presumably the final few missions. Because, yeah, I'm not gonna do the last Romulus Lair because it feels like its own partitioned off state of being. Don't stand up too fast. I just did. Any good stories about Cesare? Are you kidding? <laughs> he was notorious. Get this. 
In 1502, his top captains rebelled against him. He made concessions to all of them, and they rejoined his army. Then, on New Year's Eve in 1503, he got them together inside a room in Sinegalia. Everyone was arrested. Two were put back to back and strangled by Micheletto that very night. The rest were thrown into chains and, and killed a few weeks later. Wow. Harsh man. The amazing thing is that Cesare was so friendly during the months before, they never saw the trap coming. Machiavelli called him the master deceiver. Harsh. So Cesare was pretty secretive. Yeah, yeah, he was, yeah, except, weirdly, when it came to sex. Huh. After his wedding, he sent a letter to the Pope explicitly describing the intercourse on his wedding night. According to the letter, Cesare and his French bride did the deed eight times. Isn't that a Catholic thing? What? <laughs> You're supposed to send the Pope a letter about your wedding night. Let's the old guy live a little, you know? You know, that sounds quite plausible, actually. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the joke stirring. That disrupted memory seems to be getting clearer. It's amazing. The sequence is repairing itself as if we're helping you work through psychological trauma. So I'm going to be a more balanced person by the end of this? Oh, I have no clue. But the idea is cool. Are you saying that because you feel guilty about frying his brain? Sean's on latrine duty. Deal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah. You side with her. Communists. I like the banter between these characters. Gotta stay with the code. How long do we have before the Templar satellite launch? It's October 8th. So that leaves us with... 74 days. Not much time. Think about all that you've been through in the last month. It's only been a month. Four days is a long time. I wonder if I could have swiped that. I can feel it. Like diddly d pin. You take more breaks. Good thing the fate of the world doesn't rest on your shoulders. Hey, joke all you want, but your mental health is a serious concern. It only takes a couple of months for most Animus users to exhibit extreme side effects, and you've been in for prolonged stretches of time. I'm a sane person. I'll rest once we have the apple. I was afraid you'd say that. Then we can use the apple to fix my brain. We'll talk later. Now get in there and find the apple. I'll quickly check emails. Then we'll go do final m missions. Because I think it'll be enough to actually, like go all the way through. Man, Desmond sends no emails. Desmond has no friends. Then again, he's in the <laughs> the freaking thing 90% of the time, so... <laughs> Colleagues! We have been cooped up in this dungeon for ages. I feel it's best for both our sanity and productivity if we go into town tonight and enjoy the local colour. A bit of wine, maybe some music. Please advise. <laughs> what about Desmond? He can't leave the sanctuary. I won't let him, uh, and I won't leave him alone. Understood. Have you told... Oh, no. Wrong one. Ah, uh, looks like just the two of us, Rebecca. <laughs> Woot! A day with Sean! <laughs> Uh, the jokesterine of these characters. This is very fun. Oh, no, he... <laughs> no, not yet. I didn't want to get her excited. Oh, no, that's part of emergency. Blah. There's too many re 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 that, re 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 this. Hmm. From Lucy. Let's see. This afternoon. 
uh, from the outbox. Hmm. Found some really good be- oh yeah, we already did that one a long, long time ago. What a pain pill! What are the pain pills we have? I've got a ripping headache. Just random little emails. Ah, that's what it was. Relief. Miss Givings. Lucy, the issues you raised in your last voicemail have taken me by surprise, to say the least. Think of all the work, all the stress and planning we've put all into this. We had our suspicions for years about Minerva, about that particular piece of Eden. Your, teeps, your tapes confirmed it. Now we can study it and discover the truth. We've been waiting nearly a decade for this day. Don't put Desmond in danger just because of your feelings you may or may not have. We're only going to get one shot at this with the short amount of time we have. Don't fail us now. I do miss the... Assassin's Creed 1... Emails more. They had more, like... Personality to them. I don't know why the run button... Like, the high profile button... Is considered a... Ooh, press any button... To activate the emails. Like any face button, sure, but... Triggers? I don't get it, none. I don't get it at all. I'm sure I'm missing some secrets, like in the... The villa area itself. But I guess since we're here, we'll go do that assassin like a diddly D. Then we'll check the shops here. Then we'll go do the main mission because. I'm gonna be fucked if I do any more goddamn bonus missions. The wisdom of our creed is revealed through these words. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. And I haven't lost a single assassin yet. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. I still love that they actually put on a similar outfit to Ezio when they graduate assassin school. Ah, they're still out on a mission. So I can't see that, but... Yeah, that, like, assassin contract, assassination contract, the thieves' bonus missions. Like, I cannot bring myself to care right now. There's been just too much side content. Some of it has been amusing, but a lot of it is just kind of interchangeable. And, sadly, a lot of the... I honestly probably wouldn't have been as annoyed by the bonus content if it weren't for the 100% synchronization, which in fact lets me double check. We did get 75%. 77%, so yep. No more Christina memories, but yeah, I've just uh, been burnt out by the 100% synchronization bonus objectives because they didn't need to be there. Quite honestly, the synchronization bonus thing could have been kept and it's just, hey, you do the the bonus side content. And that raises your synchronization. There's, God knows there's enough, like, side quests to do it.
Because I had to have done probably, well, obviously I've done 77 point whatever percent of the content in the game so far. But once I do all the main missions, it'll probably come out to like 80 to 85 percent, maybe. So I've done a ton of side content. I just feel like there's too much of it. Because it's too repetitive. That's not to say, like, repetitive content's too much, but, like, it needs to flow in the right way. Like, uh, Skyrim. Skyrim's content can be pretty repetitive, especially the blah -de blah uh, Creation Club missions. The ones that are, like, oh... Great warrior, I've heard of your escape ads. Come fight me to the death at my mountain lodge. I will save, say nothing because I have said all I need to. Like, all because they just don't want to pay a voice actor. Like, in fact, there was like a, a diddly D entire mission based around the current gray fox in Skyrim. Ah, uh, great. This is back. I wasn't even in the restricted zone. Yet they acted like I was. At least they give bunch of resources. And these guys are kind of scary. It seems like they... have their own... pistols. Requiem. Breach the perimeter of the Castel Sant'Angelo and confront the Pope inside the Papal Apartments. Ah, oh, crap. He didn't notice me. What the fuck? Game! Why would I want to jump down there, you stupid ass game? Who designed the goddamn logic? Oh wait, that's completely the wrong way. But yeah, who designed the logic for, for the free running? Once again, held up, the game said, ooh, you want to go down. At the, like, I wouldn't get as angry if I got noticed and my full synchronization ruined now, but... When a game fails to function as expected, like, you expect the game to function a certain way and then the game goes, lol, I decide no. That's just annoying and really brings down the mood either way. Ah, Cesare's back. He leaves his horse at the hay bales. I want to see the Pope! His holiness waits for you at the top of the castell in his apartments. Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Actually, you know what? I'm going to quickly look... How many... diddly D uh, memory sequences there are. Because this is probably not the end. There's probably like ten. Memory sequences. How many me memory sequences are there? IGN, your guides can sometimes be shit, but at least you can tell me how many there are. There's only nine, and we're at the eighth. Well. Yep, There's. it says uh, there's only nine. It has a full, like, five memories less than Assassin's Creed 2. Yet it feels obscenely longer. Because of how it's been done. Of all the side content. 
Like, honestly, that's kind of terrible. That Assassin's Creed 2, like, had more... Like, it felt like it had more content pressed into a shorter span of time than this game has had content overall. Like, somebody use magic to transplant the Christina storyline into Assassin's Creed 2. And uh, then we basically have no point of Assassin's Creed uh, Brotherhood. Brotherhood is then becomes useless. Does it want me on the ground? Does it want me to climb again? I don't know what it wants. I assume it wants me to go on the ground then. Well, so I killed the guard, so I can just take a peek down. It's like, does it game want me to go through the open door? Ah, uh, it does want me to go through a door. Hmm. I can shimmy along this way until I can get to a point where I can get onto the stairs. Maybe. Although it looks like it's... Oh, no, maybe. That might be a good location to get there. There we go. Stairway to Papal Apartments. <laughs> Thank you, Pietro. Then again, Ch wait, why are we like, oh, Cesare has returned when uh, Cesare was there to order the hit on Pietro? I ordered a fresh batch of La Cantarella last night. I am terribly sorry, Mia Signora, but the Pope has taken it all. Where is the Pope? He meets with Cesare. Strange. He did not tell me Cesare had returned. Or do I go through the door? That woman gives me so much trouble. Why didn't I stay in the stables? What a family this Pope has. <laughs> Bad talking the Pope's family? Maniac. I guess I do have to go this way. Feels a bit wonky, but fine. Seems to continue the trend of we have to overcomplicate the parkour. Which, considering that this is the uh, Assassin's Creed game with the most fucked parkour, uh, I'm not sure I like that. Again, the parkour tried to parkour to a place it physically couldn't go to, all the while completely bypassing the the corner turny lantern which then cost me the 100% synchronization bonus um why can i not grab that game is mean Nobody up here. Good, good. Wait there. They'll never know a thing. Especially not with a dead body right here. Oh, there's guards. Like, I knew there was guards, but... Could I climb the bookcase?
I didn't know there was another one. Once again, wouldn't be terrible if, uh, so it does want me to climb the bookcase. There's obviously another guard up here. I hate that. I get it, geometry, but at the same time, that's you could adjust his aim. Also, I find it hilarious. It's like, we're gonna be, like, murdered at the guild for this. But then he doesn't, like... <laughs> That's one way of doing things, Ezio. That is definitely one way of doing things. Hilariously, if we came in a different way, we could have gotten to this same place much faster. Ezio just calls to the Pope from the window. Rodrigo! What happened here? <laughs> I do not know what you mean. My funds, my troops, gone! Financial difficulties strike all of us, even those with an army. You intend to give me money? <laughs> no. I no. Not. Then I will use the peace of Eden to get what I want. Your help is not necessary. That has been made abundantly clear to me. Are you aware that the Baron de Valois is dead? No. Did you? What <laughs> reason could I possibly have to kill him? Was he plotting against me with my brilliant traitorous Captain General? I do not have to stand for this. <laughs> in fight, in the fight. Assassins murdered him. Why did you not stop them? As if I could. It was not my decision to attack Monterigione. It was yours. So Rodrigo really was... Like, done with the assassins for the most part. He's like, I'll be tyrann tyrannical elsewhere, but I'm going to leave you alone, Etsy. Constant interference of failures like you! You are not going anywhere. I have the peace of Eden. Get out of my way, old man. Fight, fight, fight. And yet it's never enough. Cesare, he intends to poison you. But I thought he lived a little longer. Listen to reason. Father, do you not see? I control all of this. Is he a, does he have a literal you, god complex? I, if if I, I want to live, I live. Take, I take. If I want you to die. Is he gonna shove the apple in his die. mouth? Peace of Eden! Stop! I know where it is! And you did not tell me he had taken it? Cesare, it's me, your queen. You are my sister, nothing more. Oh, I did not know that! Where is it? You never loved me? Where is the apple? Tell me! Je tell me! Beat Cesare to the Apple of Eden. Do not kill anyone. All right, Cesare. I am come. I want the apple! <laughs> I want the apple! Oh, wait. My bad. It said don't kill anyone. I went on autopilot. Sure, I don't need to do it. But that one's simple enough to do for the most part. I want the apple. Game. Grab. Am I hurting you? Give me the apple. It's mine, not yours. I want the apple. <laughs> ah, no mercy for you. Am I 
hurting you. Give me the apple. It's smart decision, little sister. Again, very disturbing family they have here. I did not know that they were brother and sister. I know. I know where that bastard is going. So yeah, Rodrigo literally meant to stay out of Ezio and the assassin's way for the most part. Wait. Uh, I guess I go down. And it's still do not kill anyone. Which means not even beating them up. Assassino! Cazzo. <laughs> I will come for you. Well, I, okay, that actually comes to play, but isn't there a better way to get to that? Like, to get out. <laughs> oh, dang it. Oh, well. Sorry. Muscle reflex. It's just completely a reflex. Ah, oh, there's a chest here. How'd he get up here anyway? Did I get out too fast? Or is it just because I am in the Vatican? Wait, no. Yeah, maybe. Don't kill anyone, they say. Then they throw agiles at you. That's bad design. You can't fast shoot like that, that's illegal. Don't well, you just hate it when you're free running parkour through the Vatican? And then you get an itch on the top of your head? But yeah. I think that little segment we're watching... The boy... Rodrigo versus Ch Cesare definitely brought things together because he again he wanted to leave Ezio alone I wanted to get up but I can't do I just go through the front door I do I go through the front door I hate the agiles warning because Why? You obviously have the guard to set to continuously harass you. Leave me alone, please. Go away. Please. Please. Why? Fuck off. Okay, good. They left. They did fuck off. That would have been very annoying, though. <laughs> we just immediately get it. Interesting place to hide it. You looking for this. It ends now, assassino. My also, I just realized the the main uh Gosh! the main trailer for this game. Okay, that's horrifying. Gosh! Gosh! I know that Discworld book. But yeah, the main trailer of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood never happened. Wait. Does it take health to use this thing? I, 
Why can't I heal? Why can't I heal? <laughs> That's dumb. It wouldn't let me heal. Oh, you have the Apple of Eden, a thing that uses health. You can't heal. The fuck? That's dumb. And again, why is the 100% like synchronization bonus do not lose any health which also didn't restart when the mission restarted. Absolutely shit game design game. On all fronts of this. Yeah. You can't freaking utilize any items with the Apple of Eden when it comes to healing. Oh. Even though he ran this way. Oh, I, can I? No, I can't do that. Change allegiance and fight each other. Or just kill over and die. Maybe it means don't lose any health beyond using the Apple of Eden? But still, that seems very odd. That they have a health-based weapon... And a do not help lose any health bonus objective. That screams horrible design. And now there's chaos in the Vatican. Is this an actual historical event where a bunch of Vatican guards started killing each other? The Agiles are so weak, they just keel over and die. At least some do. So I guess if you come across a single enemy... I think that's how it works. The first enemy that's touched by the Peace of Eden is instantly killed... So if you only run into one enemy, they instantly die, so you don't have to deal with them. Die! So because that was so quick... I don't know if the actual using the Apple of Eden loss of health loses you the bonus synchronization. I do not know. And because the game isn't really something to trust when it comes to logic... I can't rightly say, well, obviously there's an exception there. Rodrigo's dead and I have the apple. Poisoned. We must not allow him to assemble his remaining supporters. The coming weeks are critical. With your aid, A little too much echo in here. My men will echo! The echo! We have one. Destroy Cesare's Roman army, leaving him with little support to wage a counterattack. No bonus objective! Lol. I guess it's because, oh, we should let the player actually have fun. But yeah, that the, the main trailer of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood never happened. You know, where Cesare and Rodrigo are in a coach, and uh, Ezio just walks out while his men help him. You must find them. They are everywhere and nowhere at once. I do not care how you do it. We cannot on our own, signore. You must help us. I am ill, you idiot! <laughs> will soon be here with my armies. And then you will see how quickly the assassini fall. Hello! You delude yourself, Cesare. Die! 
Uh, not guards, guards. Guess he stopped reading that book. Wait, reduce distance to target? What target? Also amusing that I can't summon any assassins. Okay, I overused my... And I can't even select any other, uh, weapons, so... Yeah, because it's like, no weapon or tool of use while holding the Apple of Eden. But that guy's not dead, and he's one of the targets I need to kill. Ah, that- oh, that white circle is the instant kill. Got you. A white circle is an instant kill. At least I ha begin to understand the mechanic of this a bit more. Although it's a bit sad that they cower in fear. Also a bit odd that they don't let me use a sword when I do that. When I use the apple. Still in 1503. I'm not sure how many months later. I did not pay attention to the last month. Or maybe we just actually declared the month this time. Stress that Cesare plans to meet with Templar loyalists in the countryside. The Cardinal departs for the meeting tonight. I will follow him. Break up Chesare's meeting. No bonus objective again. <coughs> Did somebody with good design philosophy take over for the last few missions? Because again, the bonus objectives feel very... meh. Have no fear, friends. Apple. Die. I'll drag you to hell with me. As he's on his knees, begging. Ah, are they over here? And now I need to follow him. Why can't I make him my friend with the Apple of Eden? The Apple of Edon. The apple of Iscone. Fear the power of apples. Also on the nose symbology of Rodrigo dying to a poisoned apple. Please let me up. I need to see my my target. Old game. Ooh. That was close. And everybody's running everywhere. Join me and I will. 
will take back Roma. We have decided to elect Della Rovere to the papacy. We are so. Then he kills him. I paid for your appointment. Roma is not the same as it once was. Borgia money has become tainted. You will regret this decision. Assassino! Run! Hired men promise you their blood. But as soon as you need help, they turn against you. Guards! Not even guards, guards. Well, that's mean. Guess I could, uh, arrow storm. Air strike, indeed. And guns, mean. Oh yeah, overused. I'm gonna get shot and killed, aren't I? Go after somebody else, please. Oh, more guards need killing. Dang it. Please attack them before I get killed. I keep overestimating the use of the apple. Definitely my fault, but... So, th I think the plan, for the most part, is... Like, uh... Get the... Like... Uh, get... Most of the little minions... Down for the count... Or on your side... And then go after them... With the... White circle. It's funky to use. It's very funky to use. December 1503. So four months later. My men tell me Cesare rallies his best soldiers in front of the main gate into Roma. Gather the assassins. We face him together. Ah, is this where that opening happens? Join the other assassins to confront Cesare and the last remaining followers. It really feels like it's going fast, but at the same time, these are probably the same length as normal main missions anyway, so it's hard to tell without the bunch of fluff. Fight amongst yourselves. Fight amongst yourselves. Die. If you get them right in front of you, there's a tiny white circle you can use. All of Italia shall be united, and you will rule beside me. Hello. No, this is definitely not the Soon opening. Micheletto and his army will arrive, but you shall be dead before then. Insieme per la vittoria! Vittoria gli assassini! Where's my actual brotherhood? Having the actual brotherhood behind would be really cool. Fight amongst each other. This is epic music that's playing. Fight among each other. Uh, yeah, that didn't work. 
Wish there was a slightly bigger starting circle so you can just one-tap these guys and not hold it down for as long. Especially because you can't just uh, heal yourself. Very silly that Ezio can't even use normal weapons. He can only use the Apple of Eden. And now all your guards are dead. Throw down your arms, Cesare Borgia. Vicoletto's troops mass behind me. We will take back my city. It's not that many troops to take a city. By order of Pope Julius II, I arrest you. <laughs> oh, yeah, him! Wow! Murder, betrayal, he... And incest. He has no, not been in the game no, at all. No! No! This is not how it ends! Th that guy was at the beginning of the game and then never again. That guy was at the beginning and I forgot he was a character. But where's the big battle on a battlefield that opened the game? Again. That guy was at the beginning and never again. Chains will not hold me. If you are so worried, there is a way to find out. <laughs> no, it is too powerful. It must be hidden outside the domain of men. What a shame. Hiding a masterpiece where no one will ever see it. And yet, what if he meant what he said? I cannot risk it. Too afraid of Cesare Borgia getting away. Cesare was right. I have to leave. What about your friends? I built this brotherhood to last, with or without me. What do Did you? you? To do? Plant a seed. Here, a gift. If this is goodbye, then keep your money. I do not want it. We will see each other again. You have my word. Buona fortuna, my oldest friend. It's literally true. And take the money. On your meager salary, you will need it. My patron has been arrested after all. <laughs> oh, I wanted to hear him, like, freak out over the amount of money he got. But yeah, why was the last half of that memory sequence just literally mission, 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 mission? It just feels very shotgun blast at the end. And again, that one guy just did not exist for the entirety of the game. And even more contract, well, no, contract assignments are for the uh, Brotherhood Assassins. Not assassination missions for me. Victoria Agli Assassini. And from all that, have we unrepressed memories of the big battlefield. Cesare! How did you find me? The apple you stole from Mario Auditore, let me hear. Die! Die! Kill him! Kill the assassin! Tear the maldito bastardo to pieces! And oddly doesn't let me use the apple here. Well, he did say it's too powerful of a thing from the realm of men. So I guess he stuck to his uh, guns on that one. He's not going to use it to turn the entire battlefield. Did I get knocked out by a cannonball? So wait. He ran here three years. But see, I did get knocked out by a cannonball. I need munitions. Faster to travel by horse. I wonder what would he would have said if I didn't take the horse. I wonder what historical conflict this is. The Battle of Vienna, 1507. Oh, we have Gallop now! Why was this stolen away from us? 
Epic music returns. Fast road travel by horse, you said. I think this is the first horse to die in all of Assassin's Creed. And again, I haven't used the... Uh... Diddly da. I haven't uh, used the parachutes at all this entire game. Alright, I was gonna go around. But apparently going around is not an option. Die. That's my word to you. Da 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 da. Elmo's die. My entire army of not friends follow me. Oh, I have to, I have to kill them. It's Chesra, he's not gonna help you. Jesus! Definitely fits Chesra, though. Epic music still playing. Die! Should have been using my hidden blades more. I don't even know who's fighting who and who's my enemy. I don't think I believe you. Our God is a just God. That's what everyone with a God says. I don't need to become anonymous, I just have to scare everyone to death. That's basically becoming anonymous, right? If everyone's so utterly terrified of me, they run away. You're not even on fire. Game? Okay, I was wondering why it wasn't going up. Luckily, the fire wasn't real. What even was the purpose of that? To get around it, I guess? Still epic music playing. Not what I wanted. Wanted to do this. And any who care to follow me to the gates or can die. That's way, way too many people. Die! Oh. 
fear me, for I am too powerful. Where did Cesare even get all of these forces? I almost feel bad that I kept killing, like, uh, the Vienna soldiers, but hey, to be fair, they were also coming after me for the most part. For the most part. Oh. Why is this even a place if this is not where we're meant to go? Uh, apparently it is where we're meant to go. I thought I tried to climb that and it didn't work. Carry on with your war. Cesare, the war surrounds you. There's nowhere to run. Come then, I you. Oh, gun. I cannot die for the food that will not fail me. Fine. I am the best fighter who ever lived. He has a lot of goddamn health. Why does he have a gun? Why does he have a gun? Like, I get it. It's a fighting myself who has a gun, but still. And hilariously, <laughs> shooting a gun at him worked. Literally shooting a gun at him is the tactic. Do unto him as he does unto me, and I'm just slowly stripping him of his armor. Die already. Oh, there we go. Cesare Borgia dead. Well, maybe. He kind of hesitated the there. Was mine. Not really. Wanting something does not make it your right. What do you know? That a true leader empowers the people he rules. I will lead mankind into a new world. Can the sooner record you to a nome? Requiescat in pace. You cannot kill. May no one remember your name. No we literally do know his name. Then I leave you in the hands of fate. What about his butcher? We left him alive too. <laughs> so he's like, fine, I won't kill you, I'll just throw you off a roof. That totally counts. The throne was mine. What do you know? What the hell's going on? I will lead mankind into a new world. Yeah, we already heard this. Did he have the apple in that moment? What the hell's going on? What a vaunt on guard shenanigans is this? So he put the apple back at the Vatican. Guess it makes sense. How do you get the thing back out? To put it back on. The papal staff. Then again, the paper Does the papal staff still exist? Maybe it's a replica. Or it's at the Colosseo. Alright. Still don't know why it repeated Cesare's words. No man can murder me! But yeah. We've got it. The Coliseum. Let's go. 
We can be there before dawn. Can we? Wait, there was something about that door. I don't think I saw a handle. Let me run an analysis. Great. So we need some kind of futuristic key. Ancient futuristic key. Open with a verbally triggered mechanism. I, I've never seen anything like it. You mean it needs a password? Try humming Beethoven's fifth. Uh oh. Damn European power grid. Now we can't scan Ezio's memories to find the password. We have to find that password. Ezio knows the answer. Problem is, he's dead. I can't believe we're stuck here. Do I leave? I assume I leave to put power on. Ooh, we get to leave, leave. Can we finally follow the trail of doom? Wait, these lights are still on. And I don't see the trail of doom anymore. Well then, what was the Trail of Doom? What was the Trail of Doom? I don't get it. Like all... I don't know what the game wants of me here. I don't have anything to go off of. So, I'll head back around... And see if I can follow Rebecca's power lines. Because there has to be a break. Because everything else is still on. That's completely the wrong sound effect. Alright, so that's my theory out. I thought we would follow the power lines, but... Nope. Ah, that's what. Hey, maybe it has something to do with this. It is a pyramid like the door. Should have probably thought of that. Symbol matches the one on the door to the vault. 1419. 1420, 1421. What if they aren't dates? 1419, 1420. Oh my god. What? God. <laughs> Tell us already. I am, I am, I am. The Tetragrammaton, the 72 names of God. You see? They're all contained within three verses, Exodus 19 through 21. And get this, you'll like this. If you arrange the four Hebrew letters in God's name within an equilateral triangle, their numerical values add up to the same number. 72. Are you Interesting. absolutely sure about this? That's kind of why I'm saying it out loud, <laughs> yeah, but I haven't got the kicker yet. Construction on the Colosseum began in the year 72. I think we have our password. 72? Would that even match up? Because hasn't the calendar been fucked with many different ways? Like, months being added. People designating years because they're a king, Lord Masterman. So this place has been the exact same all these years as well, and only now are they, like, having scaffolding and a crane here? Deja vu. I bet. Let's go. Whoa, 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 what about us, eh? You might actually need a historian down there. Sean's right. That tunnel should lead under Capitoline Hill. I'll help them find another entrance. Be careful, Desmond. Don't worry, I'm an assassin. Ah, yeah, nice try. I've seen your car. <laughs> I like these characters. So time to adventure. Yeah, then I guess I go this way. So used to the game, like Lucy, auto scrolling things, the, the camera. Okay, good. Do you see any gladiators? My advice would be leg it. 
I'll keep that in mind. I doubt I'll see any. Then again, bleed effect. The bleeding effect could summon a few. So maybe I'm actually gonna hold the apple. It's been a long time coming. You've earned it. Uh oh. I wonder if it'll change things. Whether it can tip the scales in our favor. I'm sure it will. It has to. I mean Ezio had the apple. But then I guess he also kind of sealed it away because he didn't trust its power, which what do you think we'll find? probably the best Hopefully smartest idea. <laughs> hey, maybe this time we'll be lucky. Besides, didn't it already... Like, I guess for Altair... It showed all of the apples, like, current... Lo like, all Peace of Eden current locations. Whereas... This one might show us different current locations. Maybe. Because if Minerva is smart enough to, like, see through time and ascertain Desmond existing and coming for the apple... There's so much construction. This place is like a maze. The hypergene housed the cages of the gladiators and, and the machines which raised them to the surface. The whole area you're in right now was originally covered by the arena. <laughs> Interesting. No. Down we go. Then I go this way. Ah, there we go. Why do you take away control of the camera? I could have done that perfectly, but no, he's like, no, you player is dumb. Especially because, hey, it's almost like I'm holding a direction and the game is like, no. It does not go that way. Because it's almost like having a positionally positionally dictated so, movement system. Guess how many days there are until the Templar satellite launch? Seventy-two. I have a feeling I know the answer. Seventy-two. Why is today so important? We're just for picking up the apple and leaving. It's the door code. Someone wants to make sure we get it right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is very odd very convenient <laughs> 72 72 72 okay I'm back on familiar ground I don't think that's a good thing Open sesame. You'd think Ezio would have told other assassins where to find the apple. But I suppose that's what all the hints are for. But wouldn't that mean he'd have to go back to the villa to inscribe the triangle and the 419 to 421. Uh-oh, it's fucking Minerva. We commit to this phase, the epilogue of our ending. Let it be no. deemed worthy. Let it guide him. Let it shape his path forward. Maybe. Let it save the world we leave behind. Who are you? What's going on, Desmond? Nothing. What tell her? Minerva-like hologram popped into existence. It was not a bleed effect. It was specifically a forerunner ancient existence technology Apple of Eden hologram. You can tell people fuck. Yep. 
Bliggity blee, bliggity blee. And now we can do that. In the beginning, we set our truths to parchment, to stone, to the memory of men. These proved impermanent things, cleansed by fire, cleansed by famine, cleansed by flood. All the world is innocent once more, innocent and ignorant. You're creepy. Ah, more of these. So are they the ones that sent down the famine flood to kill people? Did I open it? This seems like a very odd way of making an entrance. How much more parkour do I need to? Coming. And then it's Vidic. Took you long enough. What is this place? Santa Maria Araqueli. See those columns along the aisles? They're lifted from Roman ruins. Now, supposedly, this church was built on top of the ancient temple of Juno. I like the ceiling. Do you like the ceiling? Oh, you are a fascinating traveling companion. Yeah. <laughs> Something up there. I follow the path of Diezio. We'll just stay down here then, shall we? Just pray or something. Yes, do that. Pray for a savior. Nobody's been up here in 500 years. Nobody's looked at the construction of this place in 500 years. Please don't be timed. We fly. I am the... I can't believe... This you Juno is assigning me the pronouns they. We have destroyed what we could, sealed away what we could not. Something's open. Now you guys have a ladder to come up here for parkour. Most, not all, and it does not take many to unwind the world. Here True is that. What the game? Time, Very rude. Ladder, get on ladder. I assume this is ladder to climb. Very annoying game. I just want to progress. You couldn't design this to be a smooth flight? Ah, yes, everything else works perfectly fine, but this one you have to go up once, or else it won't work. My, what brilliant design. 
totally doesn't make me want to hunt down your ancestors in the past. Genetic memory, except it has timeline ramifications. Oh, <laughs> that's odd. Here goes. No idea how this will affect anything elsewhere, but okay. Hello. What's in the blueprints? Desmond, get down here. Luck way. Luckily, the building has agreed with you. I'm coming down. Whatever this is, it doesn't do anything. It's a dead end. For you, maybe. I'm special. I'm special. Not so sure. Fear the power of Desmond. <laughs> Sean's hanging on for dear life. Mate, you're gonna have to try a little harder than that. We're here. Again, you'd think somebody would have found this in five hundred years. Right, I'm always right. About that dead end. <laughs> that never happened, I was misquoted. <laughs> <laughs> that never happened, I was misquoted. Very interesting world design. I wonder what the Leonardo you think it speaks English? diddly D Just say it. Okay. Like DLC was about. How did Ezio get the password? That's my question. After, after you, I, I think. After me, the chosen one. The chosen seventeen. You guys have to see this. This is amazing. Wow. Ezio left it there for a reason. The apple seems to be in the center. Time to find out where those temples are. I activate you, pillar. What more parkour doth I need do? If you hit all of them, you might get some power to the central platform. Well, that's just a guess, is it? So what's the sixth After sense? The world undone, tried to pass it through the blood, tried to join you to us. You see the blue shimmer, you hear the words, what? but you do not know. What? What the fuck? Is this more contrived bullshit game? Oh, you hit the wrong one. Why? Why are you made of stupidity? Alright, so it's a stupid, picky, choosy bullshit. My favorite. No, 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 no. Not actually, like, playing the fucking game. You have to... Uh, fucking stupid... Bullshit. Why? This is the end of the game. Why is there a stupid 50-50 chance no actual anything? Game, I'm going to slaughter your family. Fucking why? It's the end of the game. Why? Okay, that one was on me, but only because I'm angry at the game for not functioning. 
why are you being stupid with the design of the final level of the game? I mean, at the... Okay, it didn't turn off like I thought it would. So yeah, at first it's like, oh yeah, just go across the switches, fun ending thing, and then the game was like, lol, fuck you. We're actually making it a, a stupid knot puzzle, because there's totally... The designers are like, there's totally a way to uh, understand which one's the actual one you need to do. It's like, no, there fucking isn't. I highly doubt that there is a way of telling. And there's six fucking switches. It's the final section of the game. Why do you have to... Why? Why is the free running made by absolute morons? Who need to be hunted down for their flesh? So that we can study it. I was holding left, asshole! We need to study the people that made this. Uh, because I'm fairly certain they're not human. And you know, the best thing, the best thing is, I'm gonna have to, uh, 50-50 this shit. Hmm, ah, I see, I see, I think I see it now. No idea why! No idea why it's a little ooh 50 50, but uh, you can see the secret thing. No idea why that's a thing. Like, I got it on the final one. But it doesn't need to be like that. That was such a silly decision. Sure, there was a tell, but only after you're like, wait, something's wrong with this. Only after you get it wrong once are you gonna look for it. That's dumb. So where are the temples? You want me to ask it? Or think it or something. You sure you asked it the right thing? That's hieroglyphs and stuff. That, that's a Phrygian camp. It stands for... And that, that's a Masonic eye. Now those two come together in only one place. What's happened? I, I can't move. Your DNA communes with the apple. They have you DNA in your time? Uh, let me go. On the 72nd day before the moment of awakening. Oh. You, birth from our loins and the loins of our enemies. Well, that sounds weird. Considering that there's like a ton of games after this, I doubt. Through blood? They're moving my legs! Walk. Like a player playing a video game. I don't want to kill Lucy. We have no reason to kill her. I think. Come on, give us a prompt. Make us do it. Very well. Well! So really, this game only exists to act as a cliffhanger for the next game, Revelations. That's pretty much its only purpose.
But yeah, overall, the story was kind of meh. Cesare was, while bombastic, not really all that interesting of an antagonist. He just shows up, kills Mario, fucks off to lands unknown, and then we slowly dismantle his empire until randomly finding him in Vienna to kill him. Rodrigo Borgia went out nicely. He didn't really have much of a much of a presence in this game, but still decent. None of the assassination targets. Shit. He's gone into shock. Really? But yeah, none of the assassination targets were really that interesting. The Machiavelli is a traitor plot felt contrived. This definitely wasn't as strong as Assassin's Creed 2, story-wise. Gameplay-wise, it would mostly be fine, but then, like, the 100% syn synchronization bonus objectives were kind of stupid. A lot of them felt odd, some of them felt vague, just kind of meh. And yeah, there was just way too many side quests. I honestly, at this point, you could do away with the away with assassination contracts. Like, ah, Ezio, go kill this person for a reason. There's really no reason for that. We're already killing a bunch of people and doing normal assassination stuff across the many, 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 many side quests. And I'll be honest, I didn't care about the Lair of Romulus too much. Because it's just like, oh, the Lair of Romulus. What the fuck is Romulus? Who is he and why should I care about his armor? It didn't say anything. I know Etsy. I know Altair. I know Altair, so of course I want his armor. And plus, there were, uh, <laughs> while there were only, like, the similar amount, six, like, little plates to unlock the Altair armor and six keys for the Romulus armor. For some reason, the Romulus armor, like the Romulus layers felt very meh. I think it's because we were only in Rome through the entire game. Instead of going from like city to city and having like, I think that's it. There was just too much in one place. Whereas with, like, Assassin's Creed 1, we slowly unlocked districts to the various cities. Assassin's Creed 2, it was the same thing. We unlocked, like, city to city and then the various districts of Venice. But here, it was a slow rollout of Rome, but with no real tell of when something will become unlocked. And then the final unlocked place didn't have anything. It just felt very odd. The story felt weak. There were a ton of glitches. The bonus objective mechanic was very meh. That didn't really serve a purpose except to clutter things up. Because again, you could still have the synchronization percentage requirements and just link it to doing side quests. And then you could still do the, ah. The Chris... Uh, uh, no, not Katarina. Christina. Christina repressed memories. So yeah, all this was was to be a cliffhanger for the next game. That's all Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is. The idea of the Brotherhood's uh, mechanic was nice. And then the 100% synchronization mechanic got in the way of that. The shop quests were stupid. The inventory, ooh, you got an item system was stupid. I liked the bank mechanic. It was a simplification of Claudia at the villa. This game felt like a lot of fluff and chaff that needed to be cut. Or refined. Like Machiavelli being the traitor. That didn't really go anywhere and was merely... Because that's the thing. 
In Assassin's Creed 2, you are hunting down the conspirators who killed your family throughout the entire game. And it's just like... In this ver in this game, in this game, it's just very, very meh overall. The core gameplay tweaks, when they worked, were very nice. The chain kill mechanic, enemies felt a bit more interesting. Uh, you have a counter to spearmen and the heavy guys with the kick. As well as the fact that the gun is paired with the sword now for quick use. In combat, the Leonardo mechanic was butchered to high hell. I'm going to say it. I prefer Assassin's Creed 1 over this. This has a lot of refinement, but a lot of mess. There's a lot of mess, too much chaff and fluff. Assassin's Creed 1, while a tad unrefined... While it's unrefined, Assassin's Creed 1, it at least, like, I guess we can, like, can we skip yet? Oh, we can't skip. Well, that's dumb. But, Assassin's Creed 1 is unrefined, but it's focused. A lot of the things it does are a little annoying, like, oh, I relearned countering, but... At the end of the day... It's just very... It's focused. Assassin's Creed 1 is at least focused. The assassinations are satisfying. The recon missions, while they would have worn themselves out if there were any more than nine targets, and even with that, they kind of start to wear out their welcome by the end of the game. Like... I think... Honestly, Assassin's Creed 1 and Assassin's Creed 2 are kind of tied for me. Mainly because uh, Memory 13 sucks. Because I don't think that there is a really bad part of Assassin's Creed 1. There are some annoying parts, especially once guards start to become really aware of you and out the uh, on the look for you near the end of the game, in like the third act. But Assassin's Creed 2 has Memory 13, which is dog shit and terrible. And whoever worked on that should feel bad. Which really brings down Assassin's Creed 2. Then Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is just a lot of trash. There is some good moments. There are some good mechanics. And there are some good ideas. But it feels like a lot of faffing about. A lot of fluff. And then just a bunch of wasting my time with a bunch of manufactured things, like, oh, there are ambassadors, like, a lot of that doesn't matter. I guess it's because this is the Star Wars political talk segment of the Assassin's Creed game so far. Because it's like, ah, we have to undermine Cesare's alliances and... It's not done in an interesting way. Because they probably spent a lot of time, like, modeling the multiplayer models and then shoving them into the main game that they didn't really bother to make interesting models and characters for the, like, ambassadors. Like, I feel like Assassin's Creed Brotherhood should have followed Assassin's Creed 2 more closely story-wise. Where we come in and... It's basically the same thing. We're trying to undermine the power of Cesare, but we introduce more characters, because in this game, there are only, like, three main assassination targets. Out of nine memories, if we count Cesare, there are only four main assassination targets. The Banker, the Frenchman, the Butcher, and Cesare. So yeah, this is just the... This is Assassin's Creed, the cliffhanger, so that we can have something interesting to springboard off of for Revelations. That's all this is. 
It is not a, its own game. It is a springboard for the next. Bah. Yeah, it just doesn't feel as tightly done. It's not as refined a product. It's the same functions as Assassin's Creed 2, except now you notice when the when the free-running mechanic decides to wig out, you notice that more. When certain other issues arise, you notice it more. I noticed far more glitches this time than in Assassin's Creed 1 or 2. And that's saying something because this is the upgraded re-release for the Ezio collection. Assassin's Creed 1, that's still the same released on PC in 2007 or whatever version of the game. Or like director's cut, so whatever the last PC release Assassin's Creed 1 got for Steam, that's all that it is. And I didn't really run into a single major glitch that sticks out in my mind after all this time. Like, maybe guards appearing out of nowhere, the bodies not disappearing, like, minor things. But I don't consider those glitches. I call those, like, programming quirks that look odd and get in the way. Glitches are something that is obviously unintentional and really breaks the game. Like a cutscene not ending. Where you're still playing the game, but the cutscene, like, broke the the flags of, like... Because, you know, like, event flags. The, the cutscene broke the event flags and kept me in the end of the cutscene, but I could play the game, but I couldn't progress the mission. And then when I clicked skip cutscene, I went back to <laughs> after the cutscene ended, which was very weird and time wasty. And then that other time where a small cutscene didn't end because I killed the guard, and then it's like, aha, diddly diddly dee. And then I had to quit the game because it soft-locked like that because the game was made by assholes, and despite having checkpoints, the game doesn't let you make use of the checkpoints <laughs> unless you die or desynchronize, which is dumb. Kind of like having a... Big ol' cutscene shabama uh, that you can't... that you can't skip. Still don't know what the red stain... outside the villa was. No idea what that was. Is this, like, literally the entirety of the Assassin's Creed uh, Ezio collection? credits because it had Assassin's Creed 2 and Revelations included up there in parentheses on some people's work. Lol. But yeah, I'm gonna say it. Out of the three Assassin's Creed games that I've played all the way through in recent memory, this is the worst. It does nothing story-wise. It literally instigates its own conflict and ends its own conflict purely to end on a cliffhanger. All of everything was manufactured. There's way too much fluff and stupid randomness that doesn't matter. Far too many glitches. And it's just like, I feel like there were too many links in the chain of this game. Because, again, I ran into far more glitches, far more errors, far more annoyances, and there were just way too many side quests. Way, 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 way too many side quests. And they were spread out oddly as well. And again... You could probably go through Assassin's Creed Brotherhood so much faster than me if you just told the side quests to fuck off. 
which I probably should have done. Because what do the, like, faction assignments do? It didn't feel like they did anything. And I also feel that the Brotherhood mechanic was slightly underused, because there was never a big moment where all of your assassins, like, came out to help you in a fight. Like, again, the big story trailer for Assassin's Creed Brotherhood of Ezio walking towards the carriage of Rodrigo and Cesare Borgia. Only for the Brotherhood to shoot down uh, the two guards that were there. Or no, Ezio actually kills them. And then the Papal Guard come out. And then your guys come out and it ends on a slow-mo. Oh, they're about to clash. That never happened in this game. Would that count as false advertising? Because it's one of two things. Either they never planned for that to happen in the game. Well, actually, if you think about it, it's kind of similar to Assassin's Creed 2, where it's big story-ish trailer, or maybe not story trailer, but like the big trailer, the big intro trailer of Assassin's Creed 2 where it's in Venice, it's in Carnevale, and uh, Ezio, young Ezio, babyface Ezio, kills the guards and runs after the uh, masked man, who, like, mocks him, and then gets shot, and that Metal Gear Sons of the Patriots was up there. Lol. I wonder what that has to do with anything. And... Knife to the heart, and you're to blame. But, yeah. I forgot that the glyphs existed in this game. Basically, I think this game just needed to be scaled the fuck back. And we are back here. Why is there a feather icon? Oh, I can put... I didn't even know this was a thing. What, what does that even do? I don't know. But, yeah. Out of all the Assassin's Creeds that I've played in recent memory, this is the weakest. There's too much repetitive content. The side quests are kind of eh, there, and there's way too many of them. They're very simplistic, and again, the 100% synchronization bonus. Let's see how what what uh, synchronization I ended on. 84, basically 80, well, 84% can't round up. 84%. If we count the few, like if we do a rough estimate of the diddly d's that I didn't do. We could probably say that, like, 88% of the game I did. But yeah, there's just way too much in this game. And it's too repetitive. Repetitive isn't really interesting. Like, I think repetitive content is fine so long as it's, like, spread out. If it's something that is done again and again, but is introduced, like, to break something up. So, yeah, overall, this game is kind of eh. All in all, I would say skip this game and just play Revelations. It doesn't really add anything to Ezio's story, except Mario dies, Rodrigo dies, a character introduced in the game dies. Presumably, he gets thrown off a tower. But yeah, overall, I just don't think that Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is 
like innovative enough, interesting enough, or relevant enough. If you want a, a clean playthrough, yeah, skip Brotherhood. Just way too much fluff. But yeah, I think that will be it. Kind of disappointing. And again, the game reeks of overcomplication. We have to make this hard. We have to make this difficult. Difficult, difficult, difficult. Not easy on player. But like, not done in a fun way. Or challenging way. Or provoking way. Just in a lazy, lol, we're gonna make this hard kind of way. Kind of like amping up enemies' health and damage rather than making anything interesting kind of way, but done with 100% synchronization bonus mechanics and stuff. Just very meh. Very, very meh. Like, if you want, you could, like, power through the story. Actually, that's probably the best way to play the game. Ignore everything... Plow through the story, and then watch other people play the Christina missions. That is how you play Brotherhood. Then you can, in like five hours, move on to Revelations. <laughs> and the sad thing is, that's probably like five to ten hours. I'd say the main missions would probably take you five to ten hours if you didn't care about bonus objectives, bonus stuff, and blah, blah, blah. But, yes. Thank you very much for watching... I have been Neon Icy Wings. If you want more from me, I have a main YouTube channel that I am slowly working on reviving, Neon Icy Wings on YouTube. And then, if you want to catch up on past streams, you can go to the YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games, to catch up on VODs of past streams. Unless you're already watching streams on Neon Icy Games. Because I dual stream on twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings and YouTube, Neon Icy Games. And if you want to keep up to date on when I go live for streams, you can check out my Twitch channel's schedule tab or follow me on Twitter where I throw out tweets saying, Hey, I'm going live! And you can get it there because various, like Twitch and YouTube don't really do a good job of telling people when you're live sometimes. Bup, bup, bup. And if you want more things from me, like my little avatar in the corner, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and Newgrounds. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. And I believe that is it. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>